You're goddamn right, it's worth the wait. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Preparation Ape, your number one spot for uh, all things about Job Simulator. <laughs> Why it is the greatest VR game of all time, baby. We're coming out today live here at uh, twitch.tv slash chainsaw ape every single Thursday at 9? 8.30, 8.30 Central. PM. Yes, 8.30 Central Standard Time. I'm DKB. I'm Major Tom. And uh, what's in the Residox tonight? What are we doing? Uh, what we're going to be doing is discussing video games that are coming out in 2017. The ones that we know of, the ones that we're pretty sure are, and the ones that uh, possibly could, but probably won't. So, um, yeah. Are you talking about... Did Clint Eastwood write this episode? Yep. Because you, you, sure you got you got, you got, got Seaman, yep. Biscuit, yep. and you got also a Million Dollar Babby. Both, which... You thought they could, but they probably won't. You picking up what I'm putting down? No. It's not good. What are you putting down? We should move on. Woo! <clears throat> Did you change the episode of the stream? Did you update all that stuff? Fuck no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. I will now. Because it says 2 Friday, 2 13th. Well, hey, man. Maybe that's what it is. Updating stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, we're also streaming <laughs> this on Twitch. <laughs> this is what episode? 61? Uh, we're 61. 61. Hey, what's this one called? Uh, Party Like It's 2017. Party Like It's 2017. Yeah, we'll see about that shit. Yeah. Oh, you picked the right thing, you update right, stuff. Now we're good. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Penis. Peenies. Fist Peenies me pie. with your penis. Peenies pie. What's up, Edith? So, <clears throat> are you, uh... you know what? Actually, I, 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 I read this thing. Or someone who had a very successful podcast, I forget who, said that the main thing to ever avoid in a podcast is asking how the other people are doing. Waste too much time, it's stupid, everyone hates it. So, how you doing? <laughs> um, I, I've heard that same thing about um, saying how you're feeling. So, like, if somebody's sick, being like, oh, I'm really sick today. Mm. Like, sorry guys, I'm really sick. Just put it on the ground. I'm real sick and I'm, I'm not sure if I can... Stomach it, so I've, I've heard that same sort of thing. Suck that but shit I don't know. Your nose, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm, a little, I'm a little congested. Miss Kurtzen says, "Fist me with your with your penis." Is that how that works? Luckily, my the head of my penis looks like a fist. It's got all these all these little grooves and indentations. There's a little skin tag that just like hangs around. I'm sure, that's not yeah. just HPV. Kids. Yeah, all right. I think uh, have to ask my wife. Let's go on to the uh, to the agenda for tonight. Yep, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. Games of twenty seventeen. The ones we know, the ones we think we know, and the ones we aren't sure about. Yep. Now, there's some games, of course, that aren't on this list. There's stuff like indies. I didn't include a lot of indies, but there's over thirty games here, so it's going to take us a hot minute to get through them all. Oh, hello, barbecue. Yeah, we're going to be cycling in and out, people, uh, as we see fit. Maybe <clears throat> it depends on if the people want to be cycled in and out of. Oh, we'll cross that bridge. Uh, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. How about that? We'll definitely oh, burn that bridge. Fire. All right. This will. Uh, we're trying to. Make, we're going to try to keep this not a long episode tonight. We're going to try. <clears throat> so, with that in mind, let's go. Boom. Let's start with the ones we know. Uh, first off, Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. That's coming in January. Uh, I don't have dates for all of these, but I have a general idea of when they're all coming. So, uh, yeah, Resident Evil Seven. Uh, we we played quite a bit of the demo <clears throat> on Monday Night Stream. Uh, <laughs> did we? We did. We played the demo for a long time. I don't well, believe we played, we played quite a bit we played of that it, demo at least 50 times. I don't think we played quite a bit of it. I think we played very little of it. We just played it for a long time. Yes. And over and over again. Um, and honestly, although I played the demo when it first came out, I'm actually like more excited for the game. There was a, a video that you and I talked about that I was like, dude, avoid this video because it spoils stuff. And one of the things that really bothered me, um, not necessarily about what was spoiled, but I don't really want to see, like, generic uh, Resident Evil enemies. And I'm not talking about zombies. I love seeing zombies in the games. But talking about, like, really fucked up Los Plaga style, like, they do weird enemy types. And especially so, in something like Revelations 2. Los Plagas, uh... Not, I know that's from 4. Yeah, yeah, So you're talking about the ones from, like, Revelations. Yeah. The weird ones that have, like, it's... sacks on their heads and stuff like that. So it looks less like a zombie. Yeah. Less like a hunter or any other variant. It's more like a... Like in Sil like in Silent Hill Revelations, you don't have monsters; you have yeah. a monster yeah. and variations of monster. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's not, that's not really what I want. I want like 
zombies or I want like classic Resident Evil enemies. I'm cool with like liquors and stuff like that. Could you imagine a hunter in first person? That sounds terrifying. Doesn't? It does. I'm super scared to play this in VR. <clears throat> I'm super excited to play it in VR for like three minutes and then realize that I'm too scared to do it. I mean, it. not to mention the giant spiders. This will be the one time where, okay, well, the spiders were always scary because they could poison. Yeah. Not so to that. But uh, this will be the first person VR. Yeah. In Resident Evil Zero, they got kind of lazy. They were like, all right, uh, we got giant centipedes, baby. We got a yeah. uh, giant bat. Here's a giant we scorpion. Got, uh, you know, yeah, giant scorpion as well. Yeah. I could see those actually being more effective if you're looking at them from, like, your character's level. For sure. So even at the worst, if they went there, I think it could still be good. You know, that's a point that I hadn't thought about. It's like, one of the things that's so good in VR is scale. So when you look at a character in a virtual reality game, they're the same size that you are. So um, seeing something like a scorpion that was, like, you know, four times the size of the character, that's going to look terrifying in Biohazard. Yeah. You're really uh, scared. What's going on, Paints? And uh, yeah, Pev actually has a good point here. Uh, I want less Cronenberg. That's the, so. For anyone who doesn't know, David Cronenberg is a uh, special effects artist. He worked on such things as the Fly, uh, the Video Drone with a yeah. uh, fucking what's his name? The, Whatever the Woods. Ooh, right. piece of candy guy. What the I can't remember his name. Whatever doesn't matter. Not but really. uh, that sort of thing looks fucking awesome up, on film. Yeah. In, in in video games, it just kind of all blends together because the textures you can't get that detail yeah. that you get of the the hideous gross out factor of you know uh, I almost said Steve Buscemi uh, Jeff Goldblum you know <laughs> yeah. melting before your eyes so it kind of just looks like an amorphous blob. Great film, by the way. Oh yeah, it was great. First time I watched it was with you like yeah, man. three months ago. Awesome, it holds up. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't want to really want to talk too much more about it. We're less than a month away. I'm very excited with how little we know. Um, I feel like a little bit of it, too much of it was spoiled. Mm. Well, the thing I'm most excited about is, are the Baker family, like how interesting that family is going to be. Uh, I get a total like Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibe from this family. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, very excited for that. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Uh, <clears throat> one, of the, one other, I guess, note, which is, uh, oddly enough, like you, you think this would be near my top anticipated 2017. Yeah. It's not. Ooh. It has nothing to do with the game. It's just that it's all it's pretty much right there already. Yeah. So it's like I I almost don't even feel like this is part of 2017. For sure. Because it's coming so soon. Uh if this was like next September or some goofy shit, yeah. the hype for this would be way more because it'd be like, oh my god, what is it? Oh. But yeah, it's basically right there. It's like yeah. I'll just fucking wait. A month from now we will yeah. be <clears throat> very, very close to playing. Yep. All right. Let's so uh, that is uh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Which, by the way, is that the official title? Is yes. it Biohazard? It's Resident Evil 7 Biohazard here, and then Biohazard Resident Evil 7 over there. You're shitting me. In Japan. So they just reversed it? Yeah. So we're all uh, we're kind of intermingling with each other's titles Resident now, Evil. huh? Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. All yeah. right. Now we got Neo. <clears throat> Old Samurai Souls. Yeah. I actually, I didn't play, I didn't finish the demo. I didn't play as much as you played of it, but... uh what I played, I can, I can definitely tell this is going to be something I'm going to enjoy. <clears throat> it's definitely going to be something I enjoy. It comes out very soon, I mean, too. It's, it's like early February. <clears throat> if the beta... you know, it, It's very rare when, like, you play a game that's in, like, kind of early stages of beta, right? And you're like, you know, if this released as is, yeah. I'd be happy with it. Yep. This is one of those games. Um, <clears throat> not to mention, shockingly, uh, there were two, two open betas, right? And uh, <clears throat> they made... In like huge, huge uh, changes to like the entire game system based on player feedback, which is awesome. Yeah, exactly. What Pep said, Neo. We listen to our beta testers. So uh, <clears throat> even the last version of it that I played, what back yeah. in December? Uh, what, I'm sorry, like probably September or so. Yeah, is still going to be nowhere near what the full product is, um, which is fucking awesome. The Easy Allies were talking about it on one of their streams recently, and they were saying that. Um, if they could have given Neo Game of the Year, they would have. Just for the just beta? Based on, yeah, yeah, just based on the amount of time. Uh, Ian Hink was saying like he spent more time in Neo than he did any other video game this year. <clears throat> it's fucking pretty incredible, man. Yeah. Uh, but we will, uh, we will wait and see. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the launch date is set in stone. And uh, it will support PSVR at launch. <clears throat> yep. So uh, we'll probably do a stream of that. Wait. January 20th. That's the same day as Resident Evil, right? Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about uh, Resident Evil. Okay, uh, no, I was thinking Neo for a second. Okay. Uh, no, Neo is February 9th, I think. So, like, a week and a half later. Fuck yeah. Just enough yeah. time. Yeah. 
It's going to be a good year, fellas. It is. All right. Feeling good on it. So uh, that is Neo. Yep. Very excited to keep on the lookout for it. We're definitely going to be streaming it. I do hope that you play it. I will play it. There's a lot of games that like I will play we it. both get hyped for. Yeah. And then when it comes out, you're like, meh. And so you and you don't. Yeah. I hope you do play this. One. I'm very confident. So I'm gonna put playing. that. I'm gonna put that on the record. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, For Honor. This oh, is a game. Jesus. Uh, this comes out on the 14th on Valentine's Day. Um, I don't know how excited you are for this, but I am pretty excited for it. I was l- less excited when I thought it was just multiplayer, but as soon as they announced that there'd be a campaign, I was super stoked. Oh, sorry, real quick before no, before you get into your thoughts. This may affect your thoughts dramatically. Um, it is always online, even the single. Oh player. no! It... I'm way ahead of you, baby. Okay, please. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, there are, there are two things that are uh, kind of colossal fuck ups of this game. It, it almost feels like Reggie's Law, <laughs> but it's you know, of course it can't be. Uh, but yeah, my excitement has gone down tremendously the more I hear about it closer to launch. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's not for the game itself; it's for how well I think the game is going to perform. Which I, which I don't think will be well. Uh, two reasons. One, <clears throat> well, this isn't going to do with the performance, really, if, if you have a steady internet connection, but uh, that's horse shit. Once again, uh, <clears throat> especially, as far as I know, this is not coming to PC. Um, I'm not sure. It might be. So, I'm not sure. Is the co- is the they're they're oh, pretty sorry. good about releasing stuff on PC. Right, but let's just say for the sake of argument. Okay, well, either way. Is the console pirate market that fucking bad where we have to punish everybody? That's, and I, I think didn't that's think one so. of the really interesting things is, I didn't think is we so don't have a whole lot of details around why it's always online. But for single player, yeah. give me a fucking break. Yeah. There's no reason It may be that. something associated with like multiplayer, similar to like Dark Souls, people can invade you. Well, but it should also be like Dark Souls I'm, and that you can turn that off. I'm getting to that. Because that's the other fuck up here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the other thing is, for multiplayer... Which, the way that this game looks like it's going to play multiplayer is that there's a very sort of a surreal and personal experience you get while doing a Bloodborne or mm-hmm. any Souls game multiplayer, right? Because every action kind of can really be your, your fucking undoing, etc., etc. I, I think I've this never has been, a big vibe from that. It does. I totally feel it. Like <clears throat> but the worst thing about fucking Dark Souls PvP was latency. Yeah, and I, I remember I was always bitching that uh, you know why the fuck wouldn't they get dedicated servers? It's horrible. Now I, I we talked about this on Monday a little bit, but for the record here, um, <clears throat> the reason why they can't do that, and it makes more sense now that I know, is that uh, when you're when you're playing through and you have someone invade you, right? They're invading your P to P server. Now, if we wanted dedicated servers, basically what would happen is you both would hit a loading screen and go to a place. Uh, Instead of, like, you're playing your game, and you're like, oh, shit, someone's here. Yeah. So because of that, they can't really work that with current technology. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this is not the way. It's an arena one. So not having dedicated servers for this is fucked. Uh, because, like I said, bottom line, uh, and to keep this brief as possible, uh, with this sort of game... Which it looks like, you know, kind of like Neo is taking a little bit of its combat inspiration uh, from from software games. Uh, latency can truly fuck everything up. You hit somebody, the hit doesn't register. That would have been game, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so basically, uh, this game was good until everything about the online components of it I, came into light. Well, I think, uh, and it still could be good, but it, sh- it could be, yeah. And I, what I'm actually really excited <clears throat> I'm about. I'm gonna this, wait for reviews. This seems one. like a perfect Monday night stream game for us, like something for you and I to play together. Yeah, it does. So, um, yeah, I think we'll be. I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm pretty stoked for it. I tell you what, though, I'm not. I don't know why, but like, the Vikings are like super appeal to me, but the other two really don't, which is weird because like, what are the other two? So uh, it's a uh, samurai, samurai and, and medieval, right? Yeah. Okay. And like, I like samurai, but I don't know, like, in context of this world. Or a game like <clears throat> this. I'd rather play something <clears throat> like Neo that like feels Japanese. I don't want to play a game that feels uh, Western. I'm with you on that, actually. I mean, like, no one likes, no one thinks samurais are cool because they're samurais. It's the fucking s- sloped houses and, yeah. you know, the, the feudal Japan. That's fucking cool. Yeah. And I'm sure we're going to go to environments like that, but we'll see. But yeah, but it's going to be just a random arena battlefield, though. I mean, in, in, you know? for the multiplayer, yeah, but as far as the single player, like, like, there is a progression in a level system. Like, like can you, you go from can one you, level to another. Sure, but can you describe to me what Vikings' houses and shit look like? Uh, they're exactly. Like huts. No, because they rape and pillage. They move constantly. They do, yeah. They don't they, have a feudal Viking. Have you Japan. seen the Vikings TV show? <laughs> uh, briefly, I've seen it. It's solid. 
It's super solid. Uh, just hit some comments from Curtis real quick. He says, wait, what if Vivendi got Ubisoft and this is Ubisoft Scorch Earth again? Then they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel sorry for any developer that, wor- that worked hard and long on this uh, on this project. Yeah. Uh, DKP Brief Never. You're goddamn right. I'm not going to apologize. Lord Barbecue says, Mr. Skirts and Vindy is being sued over the rights to Spinal Tap. For a fuck ton. You're shitting me, really? That is correct. <laughs> Who's he? What the fuck was... How is Spinal Tap still relevant and worth money at this point? I don't fucking know. Great movie, but shit. Saw so, uh, one of the yeah. actors from Spinal Tap in the uh, airport at LAX. <clears throat> You didn't Michael say anything. McKean. I saw uh, That's who from you're about. <clears throat> Michael McKean is in Spinal Tap. You're shitting me. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I was like, "Hey, better call Saul. That's fucking Chuck. That's his brother. Let's go up the escalator." Michael McKean is his name. Or McKean. And the second celebrity that I saw was a uh, LAPD. I was like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey that's the LAPD. That's the LAPD. That's yeah. that's one of the guys. That's the Rodney King guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. All righty." Uh, Lego Worlds. This is one that I, I, you know, I can't imagine you being like, oh, I gotta right, talk about this. Go and swap somebody in for this one. Are we? No, go. Oh. <laughs> um, Lego Worlds is just your, you know. I've never heard of this. Well, what Minecraft is, is, it's actually on PC already. It's just coming to consoles. Whoa, wait, wait, is this? It's Minecraft, but with Legos. Dude, which I might, is so I might actually play this. Because well, like, the whole I reason why really I liked good. Minecraft to begin with was I was like, it's basically fucking Legos. Yeah. But and if what's you cool actually is, have Legos, yeah. and you'll be able to like, if you're like, I want to build the Millennium Falcon, you can like. Does it find give the plans and shit? Yeah, it's going to give you plans to be able to build. It's already things. on PC. It's already on PC. I know we're supposed to do Res. Okay, no, we're gonna, we're going to stick with Resident Evil on Monday. <laughs> but that, I think that would also be a fucking badass yeah. Monday night stream for us. I'm, I'm shocked that you're actually interested or excited for this. Dude, but like, just look at like the way that they choose. Look, to I don't advertise like a lot of I don't like a lot of Lego games because, yeah. but I love Legos, like the, the legit building. You know? So yeah. So, just, like, looking at a picture like this, you see, like, dragons and elves and people with rockets and... On the left, it looks like fucking Fallout. Power yeah. armor and... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for it. How have I never heard about this? I don't know. Uh, it was at PSX, like, playable on the show. Oh, really? PSX. I was probably just yeah. like, I have another fucking... Did you see the game. Lego the Lego? I setup? did, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was in that. They mm-hmm. had that big little area set up that looked really badass. What's going on, PSX Joe C? Uh, what a baby! Pepif says he's a multiplayer. Can you invite your friends over yes. to your creations? Yes, and you can invite them into each other's worlds. It's basically Minecraft with Legos, but it's gonna have like Lego stuff. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. This game's gonna bring a whole new era of awareness. You know what I mean? Or you could put the puzzle piece together. Next up is Horizon Zero <clears throat> Dawn. This is coming out at the end of February. Um, if you're like still, I'm pleased by that one. I guess. So. I mean, I've been up since yesterday, so like you know, a little bit. Yeah. Little I little thought bit. it was good. Maybe it wasn't. We'll see. Um, this is a game that PlayStation is putting a a lot of hope into, and I, I hope that it's as good as it looks because it looks super good. Uh, I really like the it's it's uh Guerrilla Games, the guys who did all the Killzone games for the last right. like. 15 years. Which their success is a Hideo success as well, so That's I'm true. rooting for this fucking thing. Yeah. Um, PlayStation better bundle this game <clears> on the <throat> console. Dude, I really want a white <laughs> a white PlayStation 4 Pro. I know I get a lot of shit about that, but like my other consoles are PlayStation are white. I want a white PS4 Pro that comes with this game. That's what I want. Seems possible, right? Like, look <clears> at this little uh, Star Trek looking dinosaur. Dude, that there. is the fucking... <laughs> yes, the Enterprise. <laughs> Did you know that those you think, things... You think that shit's an accident? So, you know in uh, Assassin's Creed and Far Cry and any other type of like open-world Ubisoft game, mm. they they have towers, and you climb the tower and get to the top, and then you can like scope out the world around you yeah, to yeah. see all your... So, in this game, th- this game has those, but it's You just it's go to the dinosaurs. bridge on those things? Yeah. You basically get to the top, and you can scan the world around you. Sit down and do the weird leg cross. <laughs> and then you... Ah! Circuit Mountain to the right. Until morning. No. So, if, I, if, I, if I'm going to make a prediction for me on this game, yeah. I think it's going to be a sleeper hit. In the same way that, because uh, like Western RPGs for me, like, normally I don't like them. Yeah. And this is kind of what this is going to feel like. A little more action centric, right? For sure. Because you have the, the weak points and the dinosaurs and all that shit. Yeah. But like, a good example would be The Witcher. I had no fucking interest in that game. Uh, came out, still didn't care about it, played yeah. it. It was my game of the year last year. 
This, I feel like it's going to do the same. I'm not hyped for it at all right now. It doesn't um, seem like it's a game that I'd like, but... The, uh, like the writer from me. Fallout 4 <clears throat> has been working on this game for the last, like... Or, no, I'm sorry, not Fallout 4. Fallout New Vegas. I was about to say. He wrote Fallout New Vegas, and then he left uh, Bethesda and started working <clears throat> with Gorilla. So, uh, they're getting, you know, they're getting the right type of talent to be able to make right. a game like this. Um, there's also that kind of underlining, like, there's a story going on that will, like, slowly reveal itself. Of, like, uh, what's happening? What happened to the world? What happened? Because this is Earth, <clears> like, <throat> post-apocalyptic. Uh, these robot dinosaur things have kind of taken yeah. over. Um, but at this point in in the timeline for the game, uh, the dinosaurs and the people are all cool with each other. Like, all the animals are cool with each other. But something starts reprogram- reprogramming them to destroy humans. It's kind of like, uh, not to bring up The Walking Dead, but they're like, yeah, we don't know exactly how it happened. Yeah. Well, assume, supposedly, well, like, will know. that's going to be a big part of it. There's, like, uh, I've seen it a couple of times in trailers and previews where it shows this big <clears> door. <throat> and then as soon as the door opens up, light pours through, and then it cuts to another scene. You know what I hope it's fucking not, though? What's that? Because this would be cliche as fuck. I've it, seen it's it if it's, like, times. a modern world or something. If it's, like, a simulation no, or something like that. No, not that. But, like, you go through all this, and at the end there's some dude in, like, a really clean room. Yeah. He goes, I'm impressed you made it here. I thought the world that we made, that I made, you'd be happy here. Yeah, that, that it was super all for annoying. you. <clears throat> I feel like it's gonna go that way. I, I really don't want it to do that. I really but, want the yeah. world here to actually matter and mean something. You don't want Colonel Sanders to appear in the end? I mean, I'd be okay with that. But what the fuck are I you thinking? I am the architect. Yeah. Um, Should happen in Fallout says, too. And if it says, I saw the Assassin's Creed, the movie, it's going to win movie of the year. Everybody's freaking out on him. And he says, I just wanted to post something people will hardly see. You see, <clears throat> this could be really cool. I love the gameplay footage. Yeah, it looks good. One, you I, are the fifth one. <laughs> you were the fifth one. You know, one, I don't believe that it's going to win movie of the year. Clearly, he was joking. But yeah. two, I can't believe he spent fucking money to go see that hunk Dude, of Dude, I shit. got a free ticket for it. I want to go see it. Please do, and then I want you to report back here okay. on Chainsaw we'll on Prep Ape. Yep, will do. Only if you hate it. Because if it's good, it's... I don't, I don't I care. I mean, I can't. It's one of those movies, of read, one of those movies that has to be bad. Based on reviews, yeah, I just can't see it being good. But I am going in with super low expectations, so... And that matters. It might help for it sure. out, then. At least it matters for me. Bold, bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it plays <laughs> off for him. <laughs> All right, uh, <clears throat> we good on this one? I'm so Do we have a release this? date, by the way? Uh, it's end of uh, February, I believe the 28th. God damn. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just like this, these first two months alone are like, fuck. I didn't know they were that stacked. Shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Mass, Mass Effect Andromeda. VKP, you want to come talk about this one? Okay. okay. All right, well, Mass Effect Andromeda then. Um, do you want to talk about it for a little bit? Because I need to go blow my nose. Yeah, I'll... I'll I'll talk about it. <clears throat> uh, I work at EA. Actually, somebody hit me with Ooh, an exclamation yeah. point. Just and, uh, there is no release date, right? Uh, no. Okay. Long. I mean, I don't know. I don't know too much about it. Minus the story details, which we do know some about. Uh, Krogan's have been confirmed. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, basically, it, it posits that uh, even more so that your choices didn't mean anything. Which that's what we learned at the end of the third one. Um, even more so, they, they do kind of hit that home in this one. Basically uh, saying, hey, there's another galaxy anyways, it's all good. Wasn't really the end of anything. We don't even know what's happening over there. It's like, uh, you know, uh, Schrodinger's galaxy. That could be alive, could be not. Yeah. Who cares, right? So it's just, uh, it's basically, it almost feels like just a fucking reboot. Which I'm not against. That's not a fucking bad thing. You don't gotta have the sins of Shepard and... Yeah. All that way down, just fucking restart. So, reboot it, put Krogan's in there, and fucking we're good. Uh, in Mass Effect 2, <clears throat> and they, uh, when they like knew that the Reapers were coming and they were going to wipe out everybody, mm. um, they made a plan to try and populate the, like, excuse me, universe outside of the Milky Way. So, uh, what they do is, is they, they build all these different arcs. Like, you know, like Noah's Ark kind of thing. <clears throat> they build yeah. these arcs that have um, a lot of the, the different races. This is Mass Effect Two. Animals. Yeah, this what is. The fuck this doesn't they... happen in Mass Effect Two. This is something that takes place during the storyline of Mass which Effect Two. Kind of noticed like a 
little bit of a continuity thing. Why would they put a Krogan on that ship? They want to put everything. They can't reproduce Krogans. Okay. Maybe maybe the new area that they go to, they can find a way to... Well, I mean, I don't know. We'll see it in the context they of the They fucked story. that up on purpose for. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. but anyways. I'm uh, glad Krogans are in there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they send uh, these different arcs to, you know, out, out to, from, my guess is, <clears throat> this is a complete guess, to tons of different, not outside of just Andromeda, like anywhere that they could get to. Um, and this story follows uh, one of the crews from the arcs. I think it's one. At least the main characters that you play as are from, uh, it's primarily like the human being arc. Because there are a lot of humans, but there are also other things on this arc. But primarily, it's human beings, and there's different ones that have different species. Primarily, like I said, they they mix it all up. <laughs> Gonna be videos you have to watch. Hey guys, New Year's resolution for a year three thousand thirty three. How you humans can do things better, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey humans, human beings. Anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, it's them trying to discover a new new home. So I, I know that there are going to be all these different planets that you can explore. Um, and it does that thing in the trailer that's a little bit on the cliched side of being like, this time, you're the aliens. Which is... I mean, isn't everyone aliens in this fucking universe? I guess. But in, in <clears throat> context of, like, in this time, you're the minority species hey. in the galaxies. So, uh, the Mako's back, which I'm really excited about. It's the vehicle that you <clears throat> use in the first one to kind of explore. <clears throat> And what? they're going to be just these, like... I, I hated that thing. All these different planets. And you know, from my understanding, and I could be wrong on this, you can explore the majority of these planets. So it's not... Because uh, <clears throat> you do that in one, but it's basically like there's nothing there. Yeah. And For this the one, there part. will be stuff there. In the second one, I don't think you can. You can just, like, terraform them, basically, and steal minerals. Yeah. Vespian gas. So this one, they're trying to... So they're no man's skying it, basically. Kind of. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it plays off for them. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. Uh... Yeah, no. Uh, uh, <clears throat> once again, this is one of the games that like I'm not hyped for, but I know that I will probably love the shit out because I love the original yeah. trilogy. My understanding. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, luckily uh, I, I'm excluded from the hype train to where it doesn't hurt. Yeah, and I'll just wait for it to come out. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and again, just <clears throat> take any any of my opinions or thoughts or uh, anything about it with a grain of salt. Yep. Uh, let's see. We got a couple comments here. Stop, stop. My dick can only get so erect. Well, we don't want to... Give me my reboot. <clears throat> Shut up and take my money. I won't stop. I don't want to just keep you edging here. Uh, Bully, thanks for the disclaimers, fellas. Uh, attitude. Ooh. Another game I'm excited for. Friday the 13th. You should wait and see, won't you, baby? Yep. If I, I still have one more beta key, if anybody wants one. Hit up Spotify for a beta key to Friday the 13th. I believe today is the last day, or tomorrow to play it, so... They extended it, so I believe okay. it's tomorrow's last day. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Let's right. move on. Moving on. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. I know this is a game that you probably aren't too excited for, um, but I'm going to make you play it with me. I'll play it with you. I mean, I, I'm not going to force you to, but uh, if anybody wants to play Ghost Recon Wildlands with a couple of apes... You're picking on PC, right? Oh, no, I'm getting it on PS4. I don't, I don't play PC games, unless it's out. <clears throat> well, okay, let's, let's, let's rediscuss this. If we're all going to play together, shouldn't we all get at least an Xbox? Like, I don't know if I can join us. It's the only other person I know with, like... The, I don't know what else the PS4. Whoa. We all three own something. Whoa. So that's a three-person squad. I'm getting the game on PlayStation 4 regardless. No, never mind. 100% regardless. If I buy a second copy for Xbox One, yes, that's plausible. <clears throat> and Idify may have a uh, a PS4 by then. Ooh, hey. I mean, he's been talking about it. <clears throat> Sunday, well, he says. I call playing as the drone. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's open world. It's kind of something similar to something like a Just Cause. At least this version of Ghost Recon is. Um, and yeah, you can team up with your with your pals and go ham on some missions. Sounds so, fun. Uh, Say Dick the... says we co op in it uh, if you want to. <clears throat> some of some of the, the the story stuff, like how the characters interact. Yeah, felt I felt the same way about it that I felt about Watch Dogs too. Yeah, which is like this is a character that's not cool. It's a character like you thought would be cool <clears throat> based on market research. Yeah. That's incorrect. Yeah, where they're like. Yeah, fellas. I don't disagree. I got him right in my sights. Dead on. Dead on aim. Hey, hey, Harris. You get that fucking wart checked out? Hey, listen, bruh. It's this weird banter. Yeah. But. Yeah. We'll see. Paige says, no one plays with me. I see. That's cool. There's another game that uh, will be on this list that will be similar to that. <coughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super stoked for it. 
Anybody who wants to Pates, come over here and stream with us. And, yeah, we'll play with you. PS4. All right. Welcome back anytime, baby. You and Peb. And, uh, man. Halo Wars 2. Uh, I know this isn't a game that you're super excited for, or even could not be less excited, for. <laughs> or even care at all. Um, I'm not a huge RTS fan. I don't really care for the Starcrafts or even the Warcrafts or any of those types of games. Um, I think Civilization looks really cool, but it seems really <clears throat> daunting to learn. But that's what I like about Halo Wars. At least the first one was that it's not daunting. They're like building it around a controller, and they're building it around the idea that uh, a simple mind is going to be playing it. A beautiful mind. A simple mind. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the first one, and I'm confident that I will enjoy this one. It's coming a little soon. I believe it's coming in February. Yeah. Um, which seems really soon, Jesus considering Christ. we haven't seen much about it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what, is there a reason why you didn't get into uh, you know, strategy games? I just, uh, they're too daunting. They're, they seem too complex. Like, the idea of resource management, of being mm -hmm. like, okay, I need to go make sure I get this for these troops and this for these troops. It's just like... It's too complicated, <clears throat> but that game, the first Halo Wars, just kind of hands it to you in a way that yeah. makes it much easier. Strategy games are another thing North Korea ruined for me. I mean, they're, they're real good at it. I mean, not North, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of the same way that uh, when I first tried a MOBA, yeah. the first game I ever got in, I got booted like after a minute and a half, and I'm like, get out of here, you little piece of shit. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck this type of... I'm, I'm done. And uh, same thing with uh, strategy games. Yeah. It was like, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to catch up to the curve of this. This is back in StarCraft Original. Uh, so, yeah. Just kind of uh, put them off the list. But I'm sure it will be great. Chet Bicep is extremely excited for this one. He's a big Halo guy. And uh, that being said, I think we're good to move on. I will move on and, uh, I guess, intro. Oh, man, another one. Uh, speaking of. Chet, uh, speaking of Chet Bicep. Yeah. She is. Uh, you and I were talking about this earlier, in that uh, uh, that this isn't a game that you are super interested in, just because uh, you don't you wouldn't know where to start. And although there are some kind of crossover, like they it's all the same take way place. The Yakuza series as well. Yeah. Oh man. Want to so, play them? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I actually don't have any Yakuza games on this list, but we're getting like three Yakuza games this year. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, uh, you, were <clears throat> you were talking about that like you didn't know where to start. So, although they all take place in the same universe, um, it's similar to something like a, I guess, like a Final Fantasy where they're not really uh, connected. I mean, they have connections to each other, but like <clears throat> these characters that you see on screen are not characters that are actually going to be in So it's kind of sequel, that were in, uh, uh, sequel in name only. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they're cool, and they're fun, and there's like a really interesting, like relationship system where how, how depending upon mm. how you build relationships in the game can impact the way things go in the story. Right. Similar to like how, I guess how Mass Effect Two worked, um, and you see how they're all wearing masks and stuff like that. These are just their their personas. Personas. <laughs> yeah. So they're normally just like regular high school kids, and they hang out in like a bar, or it's more like a diner, I guess. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Even even I go weeb slumming every now and again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like play, playing Catherine was was the time yeah. I did that. This is made by the team know? that made Catherine, so. Well, all right then. Uh, and, you know, seeing the popularity among this, like, makes me... Two things. Makes me want to play, makes me not. Yeah. Because I don't know if I want to get into that. But there were people waiting. This might have been, like... Persona 4 is a <clears throat> PS2 game. Holy shit, really? Yeah. But there's been like ones in between that were just not in there, the there sequel, were, there's right? like There were fighting games that they made in between. And then they, really? they released Persona 4 Golden, which is like okay, that's a super about. extended cut of, yeah. of Part 4 that came out on Vita. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but yeah this the, be the, the first line one at PSX for this might have been one of the longest lines oh, they had. Down. I, think, I, think, I think old Chet Bicep waited like two hours to play, yeah. which is fucking insane. No, it has a, a rabid fan base. And I think this is, uh, this is a, a unique opportunity that they have is... Um, you know, Japanese games have kind of fallen by the wayside since early to mid two thousands, mm. and uh, they they're slowly kind of resurging. And I think games like this can help. So, all right. Well, best of luck to it. Maybe, maybe. We'll yeah. Check it out. yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's a good streaming game. I don't think it's, it'll be a good streaming game. Yeah. Like really text based games, like Undertale worked because it was so short. Yeah. And but you can like have stream... fun with stuff like that. Like be a little goofy and stuff with it. Yeah. And this is, um, this is going to require like a certain level of focus. That I don't think streaming will allow. Nope. Chet was super hard for this. So, yeah, he is. He's oh, yeah. very excited for it. He was turgid as a mug. You know, <clears throat> while I was playing Parappa the Rapper. 
All right, moving on. Yep. To ukulele. Ukulele. Do we have a release date for this? We do. It's April 11th. God, it's too far away. Ah, it's April, man. Considering it's a kickstarted game, like most kickstarted oh, games, no, we it, still it, haven't it gotten is, yet. It is fucking tremendous that they. It, I mean, the Kickstarter started like within a month of when the Bloodstained Kickstarter was, and we're yeah. getting this like a year before we're getting Bloodstained. No, like the the efficiency and, and, and due diligence yeah. that they paid to this project cannot be understated. Like, it, 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 oh, I mean, over overstated. Uh, very impressed that we're getting this. That it looks this good. That supposedly. Yeah. From everything we've seen, from everything we've had our hands on, it plays exactly. It plays so good. <clears throat> it it feels um, it feels like a game like this should. It feels like the opposite is, of Mighty Number no. Nine. Yes, yes. You know, Definitely. and and this this might be the best like example of, of a Kickstarter project like ever for a video game. For sure. I mean, there was a there was what was it? I know Shovel Knight was Kickstarted and Broken Age. That one did. Really Be able to look well. at the timeline though. Yeah, like for delivery. Yeah, for sure. Because that's that's the not to get into a Kickstarter discussion, but like when you back something, you're like you're super fucking stoked, yeah. and you see all this different uh, footage from like uh, different parts of the game, so it looks like they've actually made something. Yep. But no, I don't know when the fuck we're gonna see shit. Like but uh, yeah, apologies. So yeah, good on uh, Platonic. Is that Platonic? Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good um, on them. Yeah, like I said, uh, I played it at PSX. It was really, really, really good there, and we played that toy box mode, which. Uh, it showed how good they could make the controls. Um, I'm excited about just kind of... We've only seen, like, two different worlds. Yeah. And I think there are five or six different worlds in it, so... Dude, and there's going to be like a you, horror one. Oh, dude, I didn't think about that. Of yet. course there's going to be. It, there definitely every, is. every Banjo Conquers whatever has one. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm uh, I like that they have, like, Shovel Knight in the game as a guest character. Mm. Stuff like... I think stuff like that's really cool. <clears throat> yeah. Paint says, uh, I want to play Final Fantasy II with my service packed up. Sorry, mate. I'd love to co-op on something. Well, uh, yeah, we should probably say this now. We'll say it again at the end. Uh, next week's Preparation Ape will be on Friday. It will be the the Ape Awards. Yeah. Um, I, and I don't even know if I'll... Do we want to consider that a prep ape? I don't know. Well, whatever. That doesn't matter. Well, it's not relevant next week's to this discussion. thing like this. Uh, so maybe Thursday Paints. It depends if uh, I have all of the... Upwards of like thirty videos edited, uh, edited and ready yeah, to go. You got a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, yeah, but if not, definitely next Friday or whenever. You're more than welcome to come stream with us. Sound good? Hey, sounds you. very good. Uh, just one more quick oh. note. We, I mean, we can keep it on that slide. It doesn't matter. Uh, just one more quick note about ukulele. They canceled the Wii U version, which was incredibly smart to do, and they said that they are in talks with Nintendo on putting on Switch. So Which, honestly, you, Switch would be the place that I would <clears throat> prefer to play this. So when you get your Switch in fucking 2019, yeah. you'll be able to play ukulele fine. By the way, guys, actually, I probably shouldn't tell you guys this, just so I can make sure I get one. Uh, if you want to get a Nintendo Switch when it launches, make sure you're like following every piece of news and information that you possibly can. Make sure that you're getting in contact with people who work at gaming <clears throat> retailers now <clears throat> and telling them how much you want it and how you plan to be there. Try to build a relationship with them so they'll call you when they hear that they're going to take pre-orders. Because uh, my it's guess not is this due, is going to be like the NES classic. just to the demand. Yeah. Uh, Michael so, Pachter know. did his predictions. He's a video game analyst. Mm -hmm. um, he did his predictions for 2017. And he's like, my guess is the Switch will be sold out until September. And based on the numbers that Nintendo is projecting, um, they're projecting to sell $2 million in nine months. Nine months. Which is how many they're going to produce. Yeah. Worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, the for context, the PlayStation Four sold one million units the day it came out in the U.S. alone, and yep. they plan to sell <clears throat> twice that in nine months, um, worldwide. So, uh, don't count on getting one unless you like are very, very, very diligent about it. And even if you want to get one just to flip it, which you'll probably be able to do. Usually, when it comes to consoles, I'm like ah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You should be able to get them. But knowing Nintendo's recent track record, especially, um, and what they are saying about the Switch and how many they plan to have, um, and just like stuff like I'm hearing people who don't even care about Nintendo say they're interested in the Switch, not saying they're going to get one. Well, they're, they're fucked. Yeah. They're just merely interested. <clears throat> Rumor has the price is going to be $250 with a game. Yeah, that's what I hear. So. Doesn't matter. You're not going to get it. You'll, you'll be paying $500. Not going not to not not have a Switch anymore, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, uh, 
Sorry. That, seem, that seems like intentional Reggie's Law, but we we're, we can talk about this more later, though. Let's move on. South Park, the fracture but whole. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to say about this other than uh, it was supposed to come out this year. They pushed it to next year. Good. Take your time. Yeah, they need time. Yeah, take your take time. time. Uh, March is what I'm hearing. So, uh, I, yeah, I've talked about this before, but uh, when it comes to RPGs, like, I love RPGs. Mm. But they're such, like, <clears throat> a, they're a massive amount of, it takes a massive amount of time to play through an RPG. Like, you really have to have the time and dedication. Not if I just got the joke with the title. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's Fractured uh, Butthole, fractured fellas. Butthole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they take a massive amount of time. The average JRPG is going to take you 25 hours at the lowest and 70 hours. You're getting at the shorter. Highest. At yeah. least. Uh, and South Park, the last South Park was like 10 to 12 hours, which I know that may not sound like enough for something like this, but it, it is the perfect type of well, weekend. Consider game. it this way. Do you like South Park? I do. I'm just, I'm just thinking to everybody. Uh, how often, how long does it take for you to get 12 hours of South Park? A long time. When you consider seasons, you know, once, you know. Yep. So, yeah, 12 hours Dude, is member tremendous. Berries? Member berries? <clears throat> oh, you know we're going to have member berries in this game. Oh, I hope so. I got like five weeks ago. Okay, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I understand the fraction butthole. Yeah, I, I do hope that they, they speed up the combat, though. Because yeah. they, they did change the combat. It's more grid based now. It's more like a strategy game. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll see. Never like those sorts of. RPGs, but I'll, I'll, this one will I'll give it a shot. Yeah, uh, I never finished the first one simply because like I felt like it was taking too long. Like when you go into combat, yeah, everything was like so scripted out, so many uh, you know animations and all that. Like it kind of felt like a slog after a while. Like it, like I was battling to get to the next great cutscene, which yeah. inevitably it fucking was. Absolutely. So I hope they speed this one up. Uh, that way it kind of moves quicker and you get all that great shit. If you uh, pre-order the game digitally, you get a free copy of the first one. So, uh, you definitely should if you haven't played through the first one. It's great. Like I said, it's super short. Uh, it is cool that these guys don't just push out crap with a South Park rapper. Gameplay is <laughs> actually important. Yeah, you remember yeah. Chef's Love Shack? Yeah. <laughs> or South Park 64. You mean uh, the, the, first person the game? three frame per second fucking nightmare that was? Yeah, South Park yep. Rally, the, uh, <clears throat> the, race, uh, the cart, cart racer. Yeah. Exactly uh, <laughs> examples Pev was uh, referring to there. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Good as being done justice. Absolutely. Moving on? Yep, let's move on. We got a lot of games. All right. Breast of a Child. Yep, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, We have talked about this game almost ad nauseum about, uh, you know, reasons we're not excited or reasons we are excited. Um, I have it. There is no release date for this. The rumors are that it's going to be summer. Uh, You're not going to be playing it until 2018, though. You're going to be playing on Wii U. No, I mean, I'm I'm definitely playing it on Switch. Like, no doubt about it. You're going to be waiting, then. I mean, dude, I'll pay, I'll pay like, uh, fucking secondhand prices for a Switch, just to make sure. I'll like pay somebody that's <clears> in <throat> line in front of me, like two hundred dollars to take your place in line. I'd rather you do that than buy it off a of scalper, even if that guy. I mean, I'd buy it off a of scalper too. Though. Like that's how bad uh, I really I'll want lose the Switch. So much respect I'm not for you. I, I'm completely fine with that. I know. I have no self-respect, so, I'm, I'm so like, it's com- it's completely fine. Right, victimless crime. My my, you know, I went to GameStop today to pick up a couple of games, and I was talking to the guy in there, and I was like, "Hey, man, just so you know, uh, between January first and like January fifteenth, probably going to be calling you guys every day. I'm going to be that really annoying customer that you guys are getting about NES Classic now. I'm going to be that person. So, like, I apologize in advance for my actions." Uh, I'll be standing in line a lot. I'll be doing whatever it takes to make sure that I can get my hands on one. Uh, so, we'll see. Get this bitch, too. And a Zelda tattoo next year. That's cool. What are you getting a Triforce? <clears throat> I assume so. I get a Triforce. I'm excited for it, but I am the least excited I have ever been for a Zelda game for it. <laughs> Same. All right. I mean, I don't really know what to say about Who this. It, it's a one-for-one one remake. One-for-one one remake. Supposedly... Feels the exact same way to play. It definitely feels the exact same. Uh, way. Uh, so feels a little bit tighter. Feels a little bit nicer. This is gonna, this is going to sound like like I'm brushing it aside, but it couldn't be the opposite. Uh, like, did you like the original Crash Bandicoots? I well, did. fucking here you go. And we've Boom, talked about this before, it. but like, I would rather have this than a new Crash game any day. Because <clears throat> a new Crash, I'd rather game have, have the three to... remastered that yeah. we know are good that you yeah. probably haven't played in a long time, so they're going to feel brand new to you. Yeah. Otherwise, one that might be Sonic 06. 
Exactly. Or Vandalanders. <laughs> or any of the Crash yeah. games we've gotten in the last 15 years. Yeah. Since the third one came out. Uh, these three were developed by Naughty Dog, so this was, you know, Naughty Dog pre-Jack and Dexter, pre-Uncharted, pre-Last of Us, all that. But um, they are great They are great game designers, and it started here. So, yep, super soaked. Release date? Um, we don't know a release date. My guess would be uh, between the months of June and September. I think it'll fit somewhere in there. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. <clears throat> All right, moving on. The ones we think that we know. Yeah. Can you explain this a little bit? Yeah, so these are games that uh, are like, if somebody asked you, they're like, oh yeah, that's coming out in 2017. It might not, though. Like, that's what, uh, these, are, these are like two, two things that fit in this category that I don't think are on the list. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, Part One, Yeah. And Shenmue Three. Yes. Both of those easily <clears throat> could be 2017. Someone might say I that actually, to me. I don't think they're going to be. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII, maybe. I, I actually no think that these the games that fit in this ones we think we know category are a little bit more. Like, as an example of one that we're going to get to. Actually, let's just get to it so I don't spoil the list. Like to address something. Uh, he says, boo, fuck Pong. Uh, you owe Pong this everything is you have, out. by the way. Uh, your son wouldn't be named what he's named if it wasn't for Pong. You know, he wouldn't be doing if this, this if it wasn't for what Pong. You, the least you could do to thank Pong. Is to spread your cheeks wide over the, the axes of one of them panels and let it just go yeah. in, yeah. So these are the ones where we're like, oh, I'm confident this is going to be 27. <clears throat> but it might not be. And here we go. Tekken 7. For all intents and purposes, this game should make Fuck you, DK. <laughs> Back at you, baby. Pong is heavy metal. It is awesome. Uh, Pong, uh, yeah. Tekken 7. Tekken 7 is already out in the arcades. Someone got a little salty. It happens, is it right? really? Yeah, it's already out in the arcade. It's been out for months in the arcades. Um, got a nice uh, Kuma picture here. You know, yeah, what, I did like that. You know what uh, Kuma <clears throat> uh, is in Japanese? Or Kuma is in Japanese, you know what Kuma is in English. So no. Totally fucked up. It's bear. You know, <clears throat> I was going to say fucking bear, yeah. but I was like, hey, it's not. It's too, it's too obvious. Not yeah. Bad. Yeah. Kuma okay, is uh, Kurtzan, is this, the, this is what you're going to summon Mr. Kurtzan here? I know he's listening. Is this the kind of thing that you were saying that you dug on? Like, this this sort of thing we're seeing here? Bears in armor with red eyes? Yeah, I'm not... I'm sh- I'm still not uh, uh, sure how that works. What? I've never had sex with a woman. I don't know how that works. I don't know the terminology around the gay community and their bears and baby... Their cubs. No, bears... And... I would say, in terms of, like, gay gay stuff... That I would be the equivalent of a bear. They're usually like bigger men. They usually have facial hair. They look like fucking bears. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You fit in that category. Yeah. They're the sort of guy, when you see the crack of their ass, it looks like even those cactuses that have like the little, <laughs> the things, the, the hair that yeah. blends into that's, like a mesh. That's absolutely my ass crack. I know it is. I ain't seen it. I just know it. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. <clears throat> Us big it fellas love showing the ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk bears. Oh, well. whichever whichever line that was. Hope I'm glad you glad enjoyed you it. enjoyed it. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't know there was going to be a Tekken Seven. <laughs> yep, it's coming. It's going to have a uh, Akuma in it, and Kuma, and it's going to have a Akuma. Kuma and Akuma. Yeah, and Akuma. Yeah. Wow. Fuck me. From uh, that was great. What's that other series? Uh, Street Fighter. What's that other series? I was, well, I was trying Turned to remember. About Tekken, like, I was, what's that oh, other fucking... I was going to say Soul no. Calibur, I was like, wait. You mean the guy. series? Yes, the series. Yes. Team Bear. Yeah. Oh, plus, yeah, Team Bear. Yep. All right, uh, well, you know what? I'm pretty... I, 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 never I would got like bet money that it's going to be out this year. I never got into Tekken, but if I did see this shit in an arcade, yeah. I bet your ass I'd play it. Yeah. It looks good, too. It looks real good. All right. Let's moving on. on. Friday the 13th. Again, no reason why this game wouldn't come out this year. Bye, JD. Uh, No reason why this game shouldn't come out in 2017. Like, we've been playing the beta. It's basically done. But they haven't announced an official release date for it yet. So, and anything could happen. Well, this is the pretty sure thing. I mean, like, yeah. What uh, games we think are coming out? Disney could take over Paramount. They're fucked. Yep. Like, hey, we're cutting this shit off with the fucking umbilical cord. Give us back the license. Yeah. You you never know what could happen. Absolutely. So again, I'm pretty confident that it'll be out next year. But, uh, I agree with the with old Chet Bicep there. I never liked Virtual Fighter. I never liked Tekken either. Yeah, Virtual Fighter sucks. 
I like Tekken. I don't like the. I, like the, uh, I never like Soul Calibur. I don't like the. Sim, oh, I, the I don't like the two point five D fighting. I like two D. Three D fighting. Yeah. I mean, be it Rock'em Sock'em Robots, yeah. Tomorrow versus Capcom. I'll take two D any day, baby. I can understand that. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, not much to say about this. I mean, we, you played it last night on stream. Yeah, check out the uh, archive if you have any. If you have any, it's it's thoughts. cool, man. It's. It's it's a uh, <clears throat> when I first saw it I was like ah it doesn't look that great but the more you kind of look at it the better it dude, looks. Dude, visually it does look fucking pretty good. See, I didn't I didn't feel that way at first. So, just as kind of time has gone on, I well, felt a little he, better. Well, he, here's the thing: the character models minus Jason kind of look goofy, but the yeah. environments in the, look great. I wish they would, and I <clears throat> wish pretty much every <clears throat> game after 2013 did this, but like motion capture for its characters. Oh yeah, I wish they Plus did. Plus, it's Kane Hodder as well. Yeah, but mocap for all the like uh, counselors that you have to see running. Yeah, it kind of looks a little jank. But mm. again, it's not done yet. So, uh, but <clears throat> one of the things I noticed hey. when you were playing it Monday night, I was sitting here watching, and I was uh, like, "You mean yeah, last night? No, Monday <clears throat> night. Oh, that before our stream. Yeah. Monday. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. You Sorry. were playing it like as soon as I got over here, you were playing it. Uh, and uh, I, I noticed that like I was sitting on the couch watching you, and then. Uh, the first time that Jason popped up, I like stood up, and then I noticed that I just kept walking closer and closer to the TV because I was Dude, like so into that, it. That's the thing. I was so into it. That's the thing. I I, I, <clears throat> I haven't been scared by a game in a while. Yeah. And, and and Dead by Daylight doesn't really do it. Yeah. Because one, like when you boot up the game, it's heavy metal music. Wah 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 yeah. wah wah. You know, and. The music lets on way fast when you're being attacked, of like a someone you know that you know that sort of like horror music, or it's uh, I don't know if it's horror. It's like industrial. Where it's like banging on a keyboard. It's like doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba, and it's the yeah. drums and shit. It's that. Yeah. Instead of this, like even at the worst of times, it's yeah. like you know, it's the soundtrack does it, uh, and everything's so fucking quiet. Yeah. Super like creepy. when you do hear any noise, even ambient sounds of like a, a, a fucking twig cracking, you really are like, oh fuck. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this is the the little bit of experience I've had with it. Made me be like, okay, maybe these people aren't as retarded as I thought they were in these movies. I'm fucking up big time, and I'm scared. Yeah. So you know, maybe I should give these people in the movies a break because this shit's not as easy as I thought it'd be. Yeah. Like, what do um, I do? What do I do? So even if it does everything else wrong, like uh, the fear of not knowing where Jason is, knowing that he could be, cause he could teleport as well, could be fucking anywhere, does weigh on you. Yeah. And it's it's pretty nerve wracking. So uh, yes, big time looking forward to this game. Uh, it is, as I said from the very beginning, Dead by Daylight looked like the the poor man's version of this, idea wise, uh, and in execution. If you like Dead by Daylight, great. Um, but yes. So, we're going to go ahead and move on. Let's see. Oh, but I'd like to pick out a comment real quick. The only reason to buy a Sega Saturn. Uh, no, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D. The game D. Get Nights into Dreams. That's true. Yeah. And that's it. Dreams. All right, we can move on. <clears throat> Outlast 2. This one I'm also pretty fucking excited about. You know about. I've never played Outlast. Uh, I hear they're terrifying, though. Would you like to know my thoughts on it and why it's better than most uh, modern-day horror games? I mean, it's it inspired PT and Resident Evil, so... Did it? Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, <clears throat> I'll, I'll keep it real brief here. So, when Amnesia came out originally, every game kind of tried to copy that kind of walking simulator. Which, don't get me wrong, this one is to, to some degree. Where there's a random kind of enemy encounter that, you know, it'll pop up. You gotta go, oh god, there it is. Go hide. Okay, it's gone. Let me get, you know, on about my fucking business of gotta fix the generator. Yeah. Right? So, hypothetically, your gameplay, your line of... I start here, generator's here, I gotta go fix it. The only thing is just, oh god, no, hold on, I gotta hide. No, I gotta hide. Yeah. Now this, there's no random enemy encounters like that. Uh, the whole game is tailored as a more of like a spook house attraction, where e as you go through it, shit happens, everything's scripted. But that's great, and it works. That's what I like. Because instead of, alright, I gotta so walk over here. One of the reasons here. I'm not excited about Zelda. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta walk over here to do the generator, right? Yeah. Uh, and I gotta go, oh god. Like, this, it's, oh, you god. go up, down, fucking around, like, they, they, yeah. they're, go you're going exactly where they want you to go, and yeah. it's all tailored to work how they want it to work to scare you. Uh, and I assume this is gonna be the same way, and that's why I think Outlast is, uh, it's great, 
super stoked for this one because uh, we got uh, cornfields and a big burning cross. Sounds fun. What's not to love? Not sure what the burning cross thing's about. We'll assume that's a cult and not the clan, uh, and we'll move on. But Is both will difference? both will be scary. So, <laughs> you know. All right, let's move on. Sea of Thieves. I almost didn't include <clears throat> this because I don't know if I'm super excited for it, but I have a feeling it's going to be fun. Remember the one that I said earlier when I uh, was talking about Ghost how, Recon? Yeah. The watching the people play it and they were just being all, mm. the the fake like. Hey guys, I'm 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 truly swashbuckling now, yeah. and it has like the fake laughter. Like their demonstration of this made me not want. The play. goal is to show how fun it is to play it. They're so terrible at that. But yeah, um, it looks fake and forced, kind of similar to how Jimmy Fallon was when he was like, "Oh, I, look at me, Mister Miyamoto. Look how good I am at this. Oh my God, you guys brought the Switch. I can't believe it." That's the switch. I know that's it's got a kickstand back here. All As if that, like that was all a surprise. Dude, all, He's like, I did my research. I know this. I was like, bro, you know you went through a rehearsal like probably oh, an yeah. hour before this Absolutely. to do, go through all this. Uh, plus all that all that foreplay just from to push one boulder off a cliff, and then it's like, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, let's be yeah, anyway. We didn't talk about that. First time you get to see the game on Switch though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I I have this you game know, has a lot of potential. This game may be insanely fun. It could. But and it's made by Rare. Really quickly to touch on what we were talking about the, the reactions that we got. Yeah. In the in the days of now, where we have Twitch and shit like that, how about you actually invite Twitch streamers somewhere and uh, don't give them a script and just record for hours or whatever. Pick and choose your individual realistic yeah. reactions and put those up. Yeah. Why they still do this shit, I don't know. Cause uh, well, you can tell it. You can sense the bullshit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I right, if I said Major T. Miyamoto visited you, you would have acted the same way. I'd have been like, thanks Honestly, for fucking a, up Star Fox, bit, and I close the door in his face. <laughs> I'm a little bit of an introvert, and like when I see famous people, I kind of just like, like I can't talk to this person. I'm Unless they're uh, games journalists. But even then, I'm like, even, I, I like walked up to Kyle Bossman, and I was like, hey man, it's nice to meet you. The most fucking socially like, yeah, awkward, the, anxious. The, yeah. And I'm like, you, you thought he was going to be like, now. Get out of my face! You no, piece he was of asking. Shit. More, he was asking me more questions. I know, but like, what, what could you have been nervous about? I don't know. Like he was going to treat, like treat you like a, a lesser. I don't. I don't no. know. I don't. Well, I'm just weird like that. Yeah, I'm weird around people that I admire, which is why I'm not weird around so, you. So, so you probably would. No, I'm. I'm I like to keep it that way. Uh, it's probably why you would uh, not invite me, Moto, and you'd be like, "I'm sorry, I can't do this." Just close the door. <laughs> I'd see him. At me. He's there with all this Nintendo swag and yeah. shit. Like he's like, "Hey man, you want the clearing house an NES steaks. classic?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, <clears throat> I just, I just can't do this right now. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to go return some videotapes. <laughs> Is it wrong that I enjoy watching the Conan play game bits, play his games bits? No, because no, I, I, I don't think Conan. That's, that's Nobody writes that shit for him. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not I'm you ball, can tell I'm, that's I'm, one of the great things. I'm not, I'm not like, ball watching Conan either. But yeah, it's it's like the gag is that he doesn't care about video yeah. games and that he's being quote unquote forced to play. Them. That's why Nintendo will never ever bring a game to him because Nintendo doesn't, doesn't want people making fun of their stuff. They want to get Fallon up there to overhype it. And not, I don't disagree yeah. with Fallon's reaction. I disagree with it being played up as real. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I believe that he legitimately is excited to play those things. I, le I believe that he actually loves Nintendo. I believe that all that's true. But I believe that those reactions are forced reactions on his part. I think that if he saw those things, yes, he would react those way that way. But don't make it seem like it's the first time you've seen I just don't like stuff. Jimmy Fallon. Like, I, I like him as a person. I bet he's a nice guy. He's got a great Sandler impression. But uh, the... Oh, 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 it's, it's everything. Oh, you, you got a monster dub. You got a monster punch. I, okay, look, I, I'm... And he used the term geeking out. Yeah. I'm geeking out right now. Listen, man. That's, that shit was written by writers. You don't see... It was cool seeing me and play with uh, the Roots, though. That was pretty dope. <laughs> I would have rather watched him watch Roots. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would love to watch a video with me and Moto watching Roots. All right, let's hey, move on. I'll have him do like a, a you know commentary on it. This is pretty good. At the end. Injustice Two. You like yep. the Injustice games? Uh, or Mortal Kombat? I guess because it's basically Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it, they're okay. Uh, I know you prefer the two D stuff. Well, they're they're two D as well, though. I mean, they're they're played on a single plane. Yes. Yeah, and then, you have environmental, so which is fine. Yeah. But my problem with them is it's like, well, 
why don't you just fucking play Mortal Kombat? And here, hold on. That's because fair. it's basically, don't... it's the same kind of combat style. Yeah. But it's like, hey guys, we can't kill anybody though. I, uh, like, nobody can get seriously hurt I, that bad. I totally get all that, but like... And, and there's just some corny shit they do in it that's not cool. Very much how in this new one, the, the armor sets, I, I, I don't see a uh, fun and exciting way, so I'm thinking of Miyamoto still, that we needed to have armor sets. They just look Yeah, I don't, corny. I don't like the armor. I so like it, armor. it's not that they're bad games, and I do like a lot of the characters, right? Even like um, Superman's wearing armor. Just like, what are you doing, Superman? So Superman. I, I might pick this up. I'll definitely pick it up. Well, then I'll play it wherever I'll you're at, and we'll uh, I'll make a decision then. Um... Just to go back to a point you made about, like, why would they not just make Mortal Kombat? Um, because intellectual property sell well. So why wouldn't you just play Mortal Kombat, not make? Oh. I get why this game's gonna well, sell. Same sort of thing. I People get why I bought First Injustice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. To try it out. I mean, like, it was a big announcement that Harley Quinn's in the game. They, like, attached it to the whole suicide. She was in the last one, I thought. I don't think she was. I'm, like, 95% sure she was. Could care less. Well, she might have been one of Joker's, uh... Old, part of his old thing, I guess. Uh, the arm is where they lost me. Yeah, totally get that. The ball washing <laughs> machine. Yeah, well, what do you think? Like, excited? I mean, I'm or... excited, but I'm not... I'm more excited for Marvel vs. Capcom. Same. <clears throat> I mean, one that's like more my fighter fighting game style. Right. Quick. Yeah. You don't have to be as precise with it. Uh, Doesn't have Wolverine in it. Man, fuck you. We'll get to that shit. One day. One day. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say on this. Cool. I hope, I hope it's good. Uh, I I like Batman. Yeah. And Batman accessories. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll, we'll see if that can sell the game for me. Vampire. So, I talked about uh, this game. It's pronounced Vampire. Uh, I talked about this game a few months ago. On yeah, a perfect, and we this talked was on about, E3 like, last year, wasn't it? I don't year. know if it was or not. Did we saw it unveiled somewhere. Like on uh, live on stream. It's made by the people who made Life is Strange um, and Remember Me, but Remember Me wasn't that great. At least from what I hear, I never okay. played it. Um, but uh, we t I talked about, it was when we were thinking, saying like games that we think could be like sleeper hits for us, games that have the potential yeah, that's to right. be fucking you, incredible. You voted this one. And this is what it. mine is. It's like, this game could be an absolute dog turd, or it could be a game that's like, must play. Well, look, this this could be uh, the order, but actually good. It could or be. it could be the equivalent, uh, which this is kind of the vibe that I got from it. I Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope not. But it could. See, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I saw there's a new trailer release today. Did you watch it? I, I did not. Uh, me neither. We'll have to do that after this. <laughs> That's why I thought it was in here. I was like, hey, yeah. there you go. Nope, no new trailer. There's a game that Chet Bicep needs to play. A Vampire? Chet Bison needs to play The Order. The Order is so, so good, bored. Dude. The Order is so good. You know, Chet Bison was here. We'd I'd be actually When you get jogging. your PlayStation 4, I'm going to buy you that game. Uh, is this a spiritual successor to Vampire the Masquerade? Uh, no. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think it has any connection or context to that. No, I'm pretty sure they're like, hey, The Order did well. What if we did that, but like, with vampires, except for... With vampires. I mean, there are vampires in The Order. Spoiler alert. Yeah, that's why. That's why I went vampire. Ooh. Ooh. Well, you, you were just like, "Hey, Alpha, I'm gonna buy you this game. I want you to experience it." <laughs> so I didn't want to immediately spoil it afterwards. Uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. Maybe the new trailer has gameplay in it, which is a big component. That I mean, there's a gameplay demo for. that you can watch. Yeah, but, but it, it, I want it's just like a, it looks like a very though. slow part of the game. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on. All right, guys, going to bed. See you tomorrow. Let me know when you're on the road. Love you. I oh, love you too. I I'll let you know when I'm on a road, I can. Good night, I can. Oh, the order. Yes, the order. And this game's never going to come out, so <laughs> right. we might as well skip this shit. All right, moving on to uh, Super Mario Switch. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, All right. We've talked about this game. Do we have? Uh, I, it looks interesting. I want to play it. Uh, I, don't... I don't know how I feel about them adding levels, like single-player levels, because it was originally just a boss, r boss rush game, like where you just fight bosses. And now there are levels leading up to those bosses. Um, at this point, like, I don't give a shit. It's gonna be hard. As far as I know, it's, it's gonna like, be a fun it's, string game. It's like the Bigfoot of games, like, doesn't exist. If it yeah. somehow appears, then I'll be excited. It's a game that, but I don't again, think it's for gonna... all intents and purposes, it should be a 2017 game. But I would have said that in 2015 about it as well, for, for it being in 2016. 
Yeah, it's insane how long this shit's been. Because, like, I don't see how... Like, you know, art... Dude, Steamboat Willie, with the technology they had, didn't take this Art like this takes a long make. time for in-game. Especially the amount of animations that they're doing. Steamboat Willie. All right, move, move on. Cool. <laughs> I mean, unless you got I mean, cool. else to add. I, like, I don't really have anything else on it. Like, we've talked so, about it quite a bit. This is basically a slide so we can be like, still waiting on Cuphead. Still waiting on Cuphead. All right. Still excited on. for Cuphead. So Mario Switch. Ooh, I know you got some shit to say on this one. I mean, it's my, like, most anticipated game for next year. I can't stop. Uh, especially considering it looks like a sequel to Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. And not a sequel to, like, Galaxy or 3D World. <clears throat> that would Kind of be... similar to Galaxy, but... Dude, if you have to jump into a painting or something, or jump into something to go into the worlds in this, whew, your boy's gonna lose his mind. Uh, seems like it's fun to watch. Probably licensing issues. Uh, I think it's because, uh, again, like I said, it was originally, in regards to Cuphead, uh, it was originally a um, Just Bosses, and then Microsoft was like, hey, can you... Because like, people that were playing demos were like, hey, are there actual levels? So they decided to build levels leading into all the bosses. Um, Merry Christmas, say Canada. Uh, so I think it's the idea that the scope for the game changed dramatically, uh, which, of course, requires a lot more development time and a lot more QA and a lot more everything. Uh, Mario, Super Mario Run on the Switch. Oh, God. I don't want it to be Super Mario Run. Nothing. I actually really enjoy Super Mario Run. Uh, I want to explore these worlds. I want to collect things to be able to get the stars or whatever. I want, like, tons and tons of objectives in these games. I want a, an objective. You go into the map. You get an objective. You accomplish that objective. They kick you out of the level. Then you go back in and you have a new objective. So I want that. Mario 64. Let me ask you this. How long has Reggie been working for Nintendo? Just ballpark it. Uh, 2006 would be my guess. Okay. So 10 years after Mario 64 came out. Yeah. Well... Turns out, Reggie's Law has been happening at least since 2006. Yep. Hey, well, this this is a masterpiece. Can you just do something similar? Nah, blood. We do something completely different. And we're never going to go back to it. So, yeah, the one thing people have always wanted, which is just go back to fucking that. Yep. Take the Sonic rings out, though. I don't want those there. I'm totally but, with that. Yeah, that's it. Like, but at least give it a fucking shot, don't you think? Yep. So yeah, uh, sorry about the it. potato quality for this image. It's just every <clears throat> single image comes from the three to five seconds of video that we saw from the, the Switch trailer. I think we're going to see a lot more of this. And if the rumors are true, it's a launch game for the Switch, which means it'll be out in March. Um, but I, again, <laughs> we're co I'm very confident it's coming out in March. I'm very confident I will have played this game by April. You ain't going to be playing it in March. Do I? You ain't going to be playing it in March. Oh, I'm going to play it in March. Like I said, if I have to pay scalpel prices for it, I'm going to play it. Yeah. Try to fucking stop me, world. Uh, Try to stop me. <clears throat> but yeah, we don't. We know nothing about this, otherwise, other than it exists. But mm -hmm. that's exciting enough. Yep, that's extremely. Exciting. Assuming it's how we want it. Either way, it's a new Mario game, which is good. Yeah. Based uh, on the six yeah. seconds we've seen, yes. Does Reggie Fizeme really decide anything in Nintendo? Does he just listen to the Japs? Uh, he is the president um, of Nintendo of America, so yes, he makes a lot of decisions. He's the one that says, "No, nah, we're good with." Uh, we're good with the 38 NES classics that we're going to ship out nationwide. I'm going to hand deliver them. Yeah. I, he makes a lot of those decisions. And a lot of it is involved because he, he doesn't want to disappoint Japan. A lot of it is about... <laughs> they love not selling. Trust me, they've been doing it at least 10 years before I, think, I got here. I think that I gotta they would, do this for them. I think that they would rather um, have people Google searching, where can I get an NES classic, than... Not Googling anything at all because they don't care about the Wii U and they're just gathering dust on shelves. Like, oh, and I think that those are the options that he sees. He's mm -hmm. like, I don't want to say, yes, we need X amount of millions of these to be produced worldwide, only to not sell them. So uh, I think he would rather create an artificial demand than to have an overwhelming amount of stock that doesn't sell. He decides to know when it comes to the U.S., uh, pretty much. Subtext yes. boy. Subtext boy. Yeah, you know, uh, I used to hate Reggie. Just because I was like, Reggie's what the, the fuck? What the fuck's this guy doing? He's goofy. I don't like him. Yep. And then, like, I got that was his shtick. Yep. And I liked him. And now I realize, like, well, I kind of feel like you're being a fucking prick with this <laughs> shit. So I'm kind of starting to, like, that golden Reggie face, I might not be as warm to it as I used to be. I still want to have it. Don't get me wrong. Yep. But. 
we could talk we could spend days talking about the follies of Nintendo. Which isn't it a shame that that's a thing that we hate we spend so much time talking about. But. There there is uh, no company that people who play video games love more than Nintendo. And that's why everyone hates them so much. Is because they love them so much. And they just get constantly disappointed in what they're it's doing. Because they, they, they hold some of the best IPs hostage. And to it's, new and exciting it, ways it, to play it, games. It, it, yeah, well here's the thing, it's like you go like, Well, come on, you wouldn't want them to like give them away to someone else. They couldn't do it like Nintendo does. Like, oh what, come in and fuck it up halfway through development? Motion controls that's, in there, baby. That's why like, like no matter yeah. what happens with the Switch, we're all gonna win. Either the Switch is super amazing and everybody loves it and it sells super well, or it doesn't and Nintendo's like well, Super Mario Run did really well on the iPhone, so I guess it's time for us to go full third party and release all of our games on PlayStation and Xbox and all that stuff. That'd be great. <clears throat> or they're like, you know what, guys? We need we need to make this console way, 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 way smaller with the, the, the shipment. Way, 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 way smaller. Three consoles worldwide. Let's do it. It's the... Uh... It's the latest Wu-Tang album of video games. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is one of these on Earth. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to call it the Nintendo Nintendo Swoosh. (laughs) The Swoosh. The new Switch. It's the Wii Tang Clan. That's what we call the Wii Tang Clan. (laughs) That'd be tremendous. Uh, All right, let's move on. (laughs) Got a lot of ground to cover. Actually, we're we're in the final stretch now. Not not yet. We haven't gotten to the uh, games that could be. I, I remember this was kind of the... Yeah, yeah. Breaking point. So, uh, Capcom and Sony, like at, around the PSX times, said this is definitely coming in 2017. So they said that oh, they're I close fully to being done. It is. Yeah, I, I fully believe it is too. It might not. <laughs> like again, you don't want to put too many eggs in baskets unless you see your release date and you're confident in that release date. And you know, if this generation has taught us anything, it's don't be confident in, in release dates. Looking at you, pretty much every first party game. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, Capcom's usually pretty good about it. Sometimes they release shit too early. Yeah. When it comes to their fighting games, uh, Street Fighter Five is a good example. Yeah. Capcom usually doesn't miss Street Dudes. But, like, like I would rather have stuff. a... See, I'd rather play this a little bit shitty. Just a little bit. I'm not playing it competitive, like in tournaments. It could be a little bit shitty. I'm not gonna notice the difference. I'm never... I'm not gonna agree with you on that. No, no, no. No, they always, like, fix it after the fact. And make it perfect. Yeah. But if I could play this tomorrow, I'd pay, I'd pay 60 bucks for the version they have right now tomorrow to play and just wait for updates or just play three nobody will play with me that i know that's because you're that guy who just beats everybody up i how the fuck am i supposed to help that i can't well you could just be like let me teach you how to play i tr- teach you i do come over and i'm gonna teach you how to doggy you move on here <laughs> <laughs> no uh th- there are some some big concerns that i have about this uh two major things uh one if you're a big fan of MVC, uh, three, you had three playable characters per match. Yep, it was great. This one, it is all but confirmed, it might be even be confirmed, that you only have two playable characters per match, which kind of sucks. Right? And the, uh, the inclusion of Infinity Stones, <clears throat> which basically turns the game into Power Stone. Which I love Power Stone, but I do not want that in my, uh, Model vs. Capcom. Now, I never knew what Infinity Stones were in the context of the games, but apparently they've implemented the system before. And uh, it was universally hated. So, b- the basic gist of it is this. You'll be playing a normal match. <clears throat> Gyms will spawn randomly and fall down. And whoever just happens to be closest to it can pick it up. And uh, you get a super damage boost or a super speed boost or whatever. So, it's basically the equivalent of um, items in Smash Bros. Which, I do love playing in Smash Bros. Because they're neat to see instead of just, you know, buffing your character. So we'll see. Hopefully uh, it's at least an option to uh, turn them off. But, yeah. And hopefully they fucking have X-Men in it, eventually. Uh, Even if Ultimate in my, DC Infinite if I, a stupid name. My but. guess is um, DLC characters Hope that so, you have man. to pay extra money for. I gotta get my Magneter and Wolverine, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. I'm more interested in playing as the Capcom characters anyway, so... <clears throat> Dude, it's neat, but, like, it's... The... <sighs> Kind of the same with you. Like Chris Redfield, Nemesis was awesome, right? Yeah. Uh, but dude, it Nemes- was just it was just so cool. What if, what if Barry Burns to have that? both? Oh, dude, what if I, Barry Burns. Yeah. I would lose my fucking mind if they put Barry Burton in this game. Now that you have that, now that that's like you know. Up my here. hope is that like once he gets an Infinity Stone, he he can turn <clears throat> characters into a Jill sandwich. 
Dude, Ethan. that would have to be. <laughs> have to be one of his things. And I got a commando, baby. His move. Just a moment. Yeah. Stop you in the tracks. A little bit of a stun. And then the little girl can run up and go, Monster! Monster! Yeah! And identifies weakness, she, yeah. damage, rebuff, whatever. Yep. She runs up and hits him with a brick. Oof. Where's her petty bear outfit? Oh, the, the, the General Lee! Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright. Well, you, know, you, know, you know what's funny? We're making these jokes to a stream that is erased from the internet at this point. Yeah. Hey. Well. Only true Chainsaw Vipers will get this. You know, like this. <laughs> yeah, that's the lame-ass things. Uh, Crackdown 3. Crackdown 3 was a game that should have launched uh, this year. It didn't. We haven't heard a peep. Should we just start... Well, should we make a new term? Like, this is a cuphead. A cuphead. Should we do that? You a like cuphead that, is a we... game that should have come out... By now that hasn't. That it's like, oh yeah, this is that thing where, where Duke Nukem was a cuphead. Last Guardian was a cuphead. Yeah. This, a little a minor cuphead. But it has the potential, because this is on the we don't know yeah. list. First crackdown, incredible. Second crackdown, is I. I'm very excited for the third one. I don't very have excited. anything to say, but I never played the series. Dude, just seeing those orbs on those, like, towers. Oh yeah. my gosh, it gets me so excited. Fully destructible environments. That's only in the online version of the game. That's weird. We well, it's because when you play processing. multiplayer, because yeah. if, if you do it during the single player, then it can ruin your ability to like get all the orbs. You, you accidentally destroy a building, you wouldn't be able to get all the Gotta get them orbs there. in a crackdown, man. Yep. Dude, that's mm -hmm. the best part about the game. There are these agility orbs, and the more you get, the higher and farther you can jump. Is that permanent? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So you, once you probably collect like 250, there are 500 of them in the game. So you'd Once be you like collect like 250 up, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah, and it's it just feels so good. What's up, Dan Dubstep? Dan Dubstep, been a while, mon friend. How you Man, doing? Thank you for coming to say hello. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Missed um, you, sweetie. Yeah. But yeah, I'm super stoked for it. Xbox exclusive. Still no release date, though. Nope. Don't even know if it's coming next year. Nope, sure don't. All right, moving on. Getting a little sick there, you think? I'm just, yeah, I have a cold. I pray. Dude, is this the... Yeah, this is games we... This is games we don't know if they're coming out. There's no release date currently. We assume 2017. Prey being one of them. Which, uh, holy shit, does this game look fucking awesome. Uh, from the initial trailer that we saw... You alright? I feel like I'm about to sneeze again. Okay. Ant-Man to game. Holy shit, does come over yet. No, the... So... This does look like a... So, what... It looks like Bioshock. Well, it looks like Bioshock. What Half-Life 2 did for first-person shooters, the gravity gun, as yeah. far as that really unique way to kind of uh, play with the environment, but in like a not, a... not a way that detracted from the main experience. This game with its... Uh, I think it's a glue gun, basically. Uh, looks like it'll be much the same, as far as being able to manipulate matter... Uh, Forcing it to disappear, black holes, that sort of shit. Whole bunch of really neat gameplay mechanics that look like uh, it's going to make simply traversing whatever space station you're on uh, quite fucking fantastic. As far as I know, this is a reboot as well. But uh, yeah, no, I in you know it's easy to call bull shots, right? When you see <clears throat> pre-release footage that looks as good as Prey does. Yeah. But considering that Doom looks better than anything they released previously. Uh, and it's running on the same engine, right? The same company, id. Uh, I fully believe them that it will look that way and look that fucking great. Super excited for this game. But we will see. Uh, the guys developing it are about five miles away from here. Their office is. Oh, shit. Yeah, right down the road. What well, is it? It's software. It's Bethesda. Oh, but I know. It's that's specifically that's, that's, Arcane right, Studios. That's right by the uh, IRS building that got the plane flew into it a couple years yep. ago. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, I was in the apartments right by that building that happened. Yeah. I was hungover, and I was like, what the fuck was that? And I just went back to bed. <laughs> that was it. And then the world ended. I woke up with a shitload of texts, like, you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm good, man. But yeah. So, pray. Any uh, any any thoughts? I loved, I loved the one that came up for Xbox 360. That uh, was Prey 2, I think. No, it was Prey. This Prey 2 was supposed to come, and then they've canceled it so many times. And then they're just no, but there was another like Prey before the one with the... No, that was... that was, The original Prey was also canceled multiple times. It's just... It's like a... It's been a long battle for the Prey. Well, games. hopefully this isn't Cuphead. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost got Donnie Darko. Fuck. Ugh. Living the dream, man. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Again, 
This game should come out in 2017. Oh, no, they confirmed, I think. Like, they said fall 2017. They did say We don't have a release date yet. No, they definitely said fall 2017. But they also delay all all of their games. No, no, yeah, exactly. We don't, well, we don't have a we don't have a legit no. release date yet. And granted, they may have baked the delay into it. Like this game will be done by March, and we could release it in March. And they're like, ah, let's just say fall twenty seventeen. Dude, it fucking better, man. But yeah, oh, it's coming twenty seventeen. Yeah, they said the same thing about Grand Theft Auto coming in March of twenty thirteen, like, and that came out in September. I'm more than happy to wait for this game. Absolutely, how long it takes. Yep. All I want to know is, will there be Marston? Uh, I mean, if... You know, us Marston folks ain't too happy about being left out of New Red Dead. Um, I don't know if that's as good as it used to be. If the, uh, people who broke the trailer down and have, like, taken all these shots and done all this, supposedly, yeah. The guy with the gun over his shoulder is Marston. Oh, no. Oh, that does look like him! Oh! He's not the main guy in it. No, of course not. Yeah. Ah, Dude, imagine, this would be like Mafia 2. You know, you start as the, the, the little guy in the gang, whatever. Yeah. But you're fucking playing as John Marston. Yep. They could not do a bigger fan service, a bigger solid, than, than that, in my opinion. So, yeah, super we shall see. super stoked for this game. Even if it's not John Marston. Yeah. I Still, actually hope it's not. It might be because it is Red Dead Redemption 2. Do so. I don't want it to be John Marston. I want something new. Give me that hot freshness. No, sir. No, sir. No, 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 no. I'm excited. No, 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 no. It's going to be good. There's like... Dude, it, it's, There is no, nothing... No way in hell this game will get below like a 93 on Metacritic. I'd bet my life on it. There's only two companies that I know of that basically are willing to completely cancel a game rather than ruin their short... Like, as far as like... When you, when you consider most game companies that release a bunch, right? Uh, short library of games and ruin their track record. Uh, this... Rockstar, of course, in Blizzard. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, th- th- this is a almost for sure Game of the Year material. Oh, yeah. Because if it wasn't, they'd just fucking cancel it. Or they'd just keep working on it. Odify says, Infinitely. I hope John isn't going to be in it as a main character. Uh, well, I hope, uh, hope you go fuck yourself. It definitely is a prequel in terms of timeline. Uh, Red Dead Redemption I'm not saying we have to like play as John either, but he better at least be an integral part in the story. I don't want some bullshit. Either have him it in there. It makes sense that he would be. Either have him in there. I mean, in there. Or I mean, in there. But don't have a shit where it's there. like, hey, this is John. Yeah, we're sending him up west, and then you never yeah. see him again. That would piss me off. Like, well, fuck you. Either yeah. go, go, go all in, have him, or don't. Something completely new. Like Mass yeah. Effect, right? Like, imagine if, like, a, you know, in Mass Effect Andy drama, right? You come back to your ship and it's a voicemail, and it's like, Commander Shepard, oh, I think I made up the wrong number. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yeah, fuck that. So yeah, uh, the fact that it's Red Dead Redemption Two, I think that that um, carries some weight with the possibility that Marston's in. This might be my might be my most anticipated game for next year. We'll see. Uh, I have not quite decided. Plus, not all the nominees are in. Nope, we don't know. Not as far as the April <clears throat> is concerned. Yeah. So, anything else on this besides nope. we know very little? Uh, I can't wait to see <clears throat> the newest uh, technology in Rockstar's. Uh, Kind of arsenal they have. Plus, not to mention, they don't have to render an entire city. Yeah. Pretty sure they can make a wilderness look oh, yeah. as close to photorealistic as we've seen, uh, which would be fucking great. So yeah, that, that's all I got on this one. Cool. Let's move on. These are the ones we aren't sure about. There aren't that many of. Them. Yeah. So these are the ones uh, that are like they could be 2017. I, I don't think so, but they could be. What's the difference between this one and the previous category? The last ones are like, like Red Dead Redemption 2, they're like, no, they said it was fall 2017. Okay, yeah, they did yeah, say yeah. it was fall 2017. But there's a chance this it one, might not be. This one, like, if they like, were in there, this is where Shinmu and Final Fantasy VII would go. Yeah, if they were on this list, which they're not, this is where they would go. Because I'm, I'm, I have, I think there's like a 5% chance that both of those are next year. Or either of those are next year. Yep. Well, Dan Dubstep says next year can't come soon enough. Well, I got good news for you. It's only eight days away, baby. Yep. So you're pretty much good. good. The April After that, you're time. fine. Most anticipated games of 2017. Uh, we're definitely going to be covering the Apes version of that, but I didn't want to inundate with too many ca- uh, categories for the Community Awards, which uh, I'll be posting polls for those on Saturday. You guys have all been nominating. If you have not nominated yet, make sure you go to the Facebook group and nominate your picks for all the five different categories. Yep. Favorite stream, favorite game to watch. 
all uh, that game shit. of 2017. What about the uh, Facebook group uh, address one more time? Facebook.com slash groups slash the Chainsaw Ape group. The Chainsaw Ape group. You betcha. Well, fuck you too, then. Uh, the Ape Awards are, might there. already be like four hours. We don't know. Yeah, they're going to be. There's a lot of shit that's going into it. Yeah. Uh, all next Friday. Next Friday. Fuck. So. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do, bro. Burning Daylight. So let's get to this. Dragon Quest Eleven. Yep. Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, I have recently start- grown to love Dragon Quest. Yeah? Yeah. Because you've been playing Dragon Quest Builders, right? Dragon Quest Builders and Dragon Thanks, Quest Pev. Seven. Uh, appreciate it, Pev. Uh, yeah. And uh, a new trailer came out for this recently, and it looks fucking gorgeous. Obviously, the uh, mm. monster... Did you pull it from this trailer? Uh, no. That doesn't I, look that great. I found a pretty decent screenshot of it. It looks really it's good It's like Dark motion. Cloud. Kind of is. But not in motion. In motion, it looks beautiful. Mm. This is obviously just a screenshot. I nominate Ren for all community awards. Okay. That could that that that's an inside joke that goes so deep. Can't even talk about it. <laughs> cool. But, uh, uh, but yeah, me I'm too. super excited for this. The uh, again the Easy Allies, they love this series, so I was like, I'll check it out. <clears throat> uh, right. Dragon Quest Builders is great and Dragon Quest Seven's really cool. Well, I heard uh, you you were listening to Huber Syndrome earlier, I believe. Uh-huh. And uh <clears throat> he was hyping up Let It Die. So fucking much. Like, yeah. Yeah, apparently the entire Easy Allies uh, group, that's all yeah, they're doing right now. Yeah. Might have to give it a shot. Yeah. I might have to. Well, I see. think you should. It's no. free. Maybe no loss. I will. Just time. <clears throat> Which I don't have a lot of right now. Especially no, with uh, not, the not for these next fucking... two weeks. Yep. So, yeah, we'll. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited <laughs> maybe, for this. Maybe after that. Um, I'm excited we'll goes. to. Uh, you, you, know, you, know what's, you know what's to really be excited for? The fact that uh, I, I love this, this is my favorite part of, of doing Chainsaw like, period is uh, the videos because it's yeah. the one thing where like you can't do it, yeah. So, you're like, I do this and I just have like free creative control over it, yep. And I get to make them, especially when there's a lot of them, yeah, and then just sit back as they roll. And it's never exactly what you expect, nope, never and is. That is the most, and there's fun. always there's always something in there that I will love, and there's always something in there that I will just fucking hate, and you never know. And I never know. So, there's it should some be a good time. There, I there. When you and I had talked about when we're doing the April Awards, like how we we're going to do it and stuff like that, all of us did, all five of us. Um, and we we agreed, I was like, uh, we're going to make the awards serious for the most part. But these <clears> videos, <throat> like, yep. have fun. Like, do do you. Do what it is that you do. So, I'm, I'm uh, pretty anxious. I'm I not. I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I'm anxious to see what's in store for. <clears throat> well, we also talked about like I see. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't have any plans. Yeah, I don't have any ideas. But that's the thing. Like I don't like planning. I hate planning. I just no. like doing. Yeah. So all the shit that you work best off improv. So. All the good shit that if it, if it ever does make it into the video, yeah. was shit that I thought of as I had like the clips on the timeline. I was like, oh, oh, I got oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. It should be a good time. Oh, I'm sure it will be. So yep. Uh, no release date, just uh, coming Dragon soon. Quest 11 probably. is only for PS4 and 3DS, and the Nintendo Switch. Yes. Which, by the way, if uh, anyone's watched this in archive or whatever, and you want to know about the fun, cool editing videos, whatever, go back and watch the uh, E3 Awards. it would be a good, uh, good representation of it. Or that one <clears> fucking <throat> top ten NES games one. The one with DuckTales? Oh, yeah. I All think right. that's episode four. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it is. Uh, Scalebound. Scalebound. Uh, Platinum Games, which is a very hit or miss studio working on this Xbox One exclusive, which I was super excited for this game until the E3 trailer we saw, mm-hmm. where he's like wearing headphones and like fighting a giant crab. Or like Jet Grind Radio fucking crashed into it. Yeah, it looks. So I love Jet Grind okay. Radio. It could be okay. I'm I'm uh, hoping I'm hoping it's gonna be good. And just being able to like tame a dragon and shit looks cool. We'll see. I don't know much about it. Uh, <laughs> same thing that was like eh. It kind of looks a little too... See, it's funny, like, I'll play Let It Die. I'm not going to let the thought of that game die. Uh, or Persona, and that be like, that's in too Japanese for me. But when it gets to... Stuff like this. Well, here's a good example. Uh, just as a comparison. Sonic Adventure, very first line in the game, is when Sonic uh, grinds on a rail or some shit and goes, Yeah! I'll never fucking forget this as long as I live. This is happening! Even as a kid, I was like, ooh, hope nobody heard that. <laughs> it seems like this ooh, game... Ooh, nobody heard that. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> uh, like, ooh, this shit's embarrassing even to me. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this might be the same sort of, like, trying to be cool, hip, 
but like doesn't translate. For well. some reason, to me, uh, had a boner for this. I'm unsure of it at this point. Uh, looks too polished. I don't know about this game. Looks too polished. How, what? You what mean, you looks, mean looks looks unpolished? unpolished? Or, yeah, it looks unpolished. <laughs> uh, it looks too good. I'm concerned. I think. About uh, it. I think that it will either be absolute garbage or it will be incredible. I, I don't see this game. Floating in the seven to eight range. I think this is going to be a Kingdoms of, a- Kingdoms of Amalar. Which that game supposedly was amazing. Didn't play through it. Not about amazing, but pretty fucking good. Yeah. But it Game ain't going to sell well. Really no one's yeah. going to buy it. Yeah, and, I will uh, agree with that. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to make Microsoft... Because, dude, or... look at this. How much more generic could you make this look? There's dragons. <laughs> we, dude, Final, we Fantasy, rocks Final Fantasy fucking 15 beat this to the punch way long ago. Yeah. Um... You know, and they're not marketing it really. Like it doesn't yeah. have a. It's not Suda Fifty One, is it? No. Or it's a Spicy Platinum. Horse or okay, Plat- it's Platinum. Yeah. No. Uh, haven't heard jack shit about it, which yeah. is it's Bayonetta guys, but also the um, Legend of Korra guys. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, if I says the game doesn't look polished, there you go. First, like in, wow. Under, like, eh, we'll see. Yeah. They don't live in the environment. Oh, kind of like Xeno Gears. That's them Shinmu characters. Xenoblade Chronicles X? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All, All right, right, let's move on. It's it, gone. It's gone. It's gone. Well, where'd they go? I don't know. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. It's, gone. Yes, that's a joke. Oh, sorry. Apologies. Uh, whoa! What? Retract that, please. And, oh, no uh, apologies. No apologies. It's yep. gone. It's gone. You noticed that, uh... Yeah, I see that nice watermark. watermark there. Yeah. Didn't notice it when I pulled the picture. Hey, I'm oh, be there. That was the first thing I noticed. Um, so... <laughs> Up top. The reason that this game... I don't know if I would. I've been, like, sneezing and, like... Speaking yeah, of... Just don't apologize. Uh, the reason I have been... The reason that this could possibly be 2017 is the last game that these guys released um, was on Vita in 2012. So... Right. Uh, this, this could be done. Uh, Shuhei Yoshida said like three years ago that he'd played a version of this. So, uh, you know, when asked about like, hey, what's Sony been working on? Uh, he said, I can't talk about what they're working on, but I've played it and it's a lot of fun. Huh. So um, it has the possibility. It got announced at E3 this year. It has the possibility to come out next year. I I don't think it's going to, but it could. But we don't, they haven't re- uh, announced a release date. They haven't announced a release window. They haven't announced a release anything. I'm going like, to just, well... A year. They haven't said a year. So, it could be any time. Yeah. I'm going to have to see more about it before I give a shit, honestly. Yeah. Because, uh, like, look, I get cool. There's a lot of zombies. Yeah. That's neat. But, not to quote uh, to Twain, but that don't impress me much. That don't impress me much. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, because cause to me, it's like, okay, it's zombies, which we have enough of. Yep. And then it's, like, oh, I just want a Sons of Anarchy bender. I want to make a game with a motorcycle dude. Yeah. And, like, that could be cool, yeah. or it could be the lamest fucking interpretation of that that I've that anyone's ever seen. Uh, there's a lot going for and against this game. I like so the, I'll see more before I... I like the excited. idea of it taking place in the northwest western portion of the U.S. Like, lots of forests and mountains and stuff like that. That interests me. <clears throat> As opposed we'll to see. what? As opposed to other parts of the U.S. Well, like what? They may be a lot more boring. I mean, I have a couple that I can name that you... Like, like uh, one cities. We had enough of that. Yeah, in yeah. In Georgia I'm, for Walking Dead, for the love yeah, of fuck. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to see flat forests, and I don't want to see, like, cities like Los Santos or Liberty City or Miami yeah, or I'm anything with you. like that. Like, I don't want to see that. <clears throat> I like the idea of it taking kind of a unique approach with, like... I'm exactly with it. Like, uh, anytime a game goes to the mountains... Yeah. Or some shit like that, it's like, oh, okay. We don't get, we don't get a lot of games up in, like, <laughs> New England. It's like Alan Wake was fucking refreshing, right? Yeah, yeah. Alan uh, Wake is a great example. So yeah, and that that took place in the Northeast, though, right? But still. Oh well, yeah, like a New England area. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just, same sort of thing. A unique area. It's closer than not. Yep. As far as uh, not being desert, not being uh, Georgia, which is all yeah. Walking Dead, yeah. and uh, you know, a big city. So yeah, so this is a lot of, a lot of uh, like there's a lot going for it, but a lot going against it. We'll see. Yeah. God, I feel like fucking some sort of lame-ass John Madden. They got a lot going for him, Tom, but they also got a lot going against him in their defense. I guess we're just going to have to see. Uh, what a fucking, what a, what a middle-of-the-road douchebag I am on this title. <laughs> <laughs> you see what Prep Apes turned you into? Uh, You're going to become a game journalist before you know it. Oh, God. All right, move on. <laughs> uh, this is our, I this believe, our last gone, right? title. 
right? Isn't this our last? No, there's one more after this. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. Um, Detroit Become Human. Again, a game that we could get it this year. I mean, the la- their last game was Beyond Two Souls, which was 2012. <sighs> Shit. Next year will be five years. I'm not sure if... I think it's Drunk Gizmo that actually lives in Detroit. Might be Dan Dubstep, though. Pretty sure it's Drunk Gizmo that, uh, that lives in Detroit. I'm going to say the true horror, horror game. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty interested. Like, Heavy Rain's cool. I hear uh, Indigo Prophecy's cool. I know Beyond Two Souls wasn't too great, but... So, to, to make, a, to make a, a, a comparison I just kind of put together in my head that I think actually works. Okay. It's kind of a comparison, but the opposite way. So, Wes Anderson films. Yep. They're quirky in that way that uh, you either find to be pretentious or charming, yep. or both. Or you're the person like me where it's like, I love his films, but like, I know how pretentious they might be. I'm not sure. Yeah. This That's how you feel about Quantic Dream David, games. Uh, no, David, David Cage. Cage. Yeah, those are, Quantic uh, Dream is his. They're device, fun. So. Everything's like the, everything's good in them to some extent, but yeah. remember how it's uh, Wes Anderson's a good filmmaker. Yeah. Well, everything about them is not as good. Not that they're bad games for sure, but it's like they 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 hire exclusively out of Canada for voice acting, which is a fucking uh, not good. <laughs> no, no, because I don't like Quantic Dream. They hire exclusively out of Canada. No, no, I, like okay, listen. A lot of great uh, people like <clears throat> Shania Twain are from Canada. How many times are we going to bring up Shania Twain tonight? I don't know. I just saw the door of opportunity to bring her back, and I did. That's two. Uh, no. Did that impress you so, much? So, you think you might have to move, but do you have to touch? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm thinking, all right. I'm not going to. I'm going to get my point across to you. So, with the whole Canada voice actor thing, like, if you have someone playing from Detroit, right, would you hire someone from, like, North Dakota to do them? I'd hire the best actor. That's what exactly, do. they don't. The so, actor. so they're like <laughs> they don't hire the best actors. No, they hire and, Canadians. And, and and it's like a lot of times it seems like people that come from like uh, French Canadian areas. Yeah. So it's like there's no. So they have a little. It's bit like of Schwarzenegger a... when he when he plays like a, the, the small town sheriff and he's like, "Y'all, I grew up in in uh, El Salvador, Texas, born and raised." And it's like, no, you didn't. Like, how where the fuck did that come from? You, know? you can imagine what it'd be like. It's that, and, and there's a lot of uh, cliche and melodrama in his stories, but, you know, everyone's entitled to the one guilty, shitty, pulpy thing. Like, VKPLs are those young adult novels, like the Hunchbacker uh, mystery novels, the the, uh, the or- Orville Redenbacher popcorn series, the um, uh, AIDS Tainted Blood Blade Chronicles. You like that, VKP? It's probably getting salty in there. <laughs> uh, and this is this is my version of that, you know. Yeah. So I will definitely be picking this game up. Uh, I'm stoked for it. I, I liked Omicron back on Dreamcast, uh, which is I think their first title. Yeah. Uh, liked fucking Indigo Prophecy. Heavy Rain was great. Beyond two, beyond two holes. Like yeah. that too. Uh, I know people make fun of David Cage, but I think this is gonna be great. And David, uh, look, look to see. Cool. It looks good. Everyone has their little pulpy, guilty pleasures, right? I also love the idea, and I know it's super played out, but I love the idea of, like, androids having, fe- or robots having feelings, and, like, how, how... It depends. <coughs> did you play through, I mean, did you watch Westworld? Uh, I watched the first two episodes, couldn't get into it. I know that I need to give it another shot. I got but, really yeah. good for me when I started watching it as a science fiction show and not as a Western. But I was also, like, working on, like, trying to figure out some programming bullshit. <coughs> and so how, like uh, how to beat Fallout half... 4. No, this is, this is months ago, motherfucker. So it's half paying attention, which I think did me a disservice. Yeah. But uh, finish up your thoughts so I can elaborate on that before you... Uh... I'm excited. Androids are cool. Yeah, I, I think it kind of depends. <clears throat> uh, very quickly. Uh, yeah, like in Fallout 4, I feel kind of guilty for the synths. Like, oh, they, they, th- they think they're people. This sucks. But uh, if you ever saw the movie Ex Machina, it's been out for a while now, uh, you know, has androids in it, or an android, Rubbish. and uh, some douchebag falls falls for the trap. And I'm like, you know, had you just listened to the dude at the very beginning of the movie, and he's like, by the way, it's just a machine, keep that in mind. None of this shit would have happened, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so, I don't know, it really depends. Hopefully uh, they go with the way that draws you in, or draws me in. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it either I, way. I liked both trailers that we got for it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, that's all I got on this one. Yep, I'm good. This is the last one. Last one. I do not see this game being a 2017 game, but mm-hmm. it could. Like I said... Uh, I see March 2018. I think that's a, a very fair bet. 
Man, I keep like almost sneezing. Towards a poor version of Jersey. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a pretty good assumption on it. Man, they got to get some clean water over there in Detroit. Dude, they got to do a lot of shit in Detroit. <laughs> I know, but man, clean water. And, and that's not like coming water. from a, from a snooty this area. This is America. Of like, but get some clean water over there. This is nothing to do with the citizens of Detroit. This, man. Yeah. Was it, uh... Nah, never mind. We didn't even mind. <laughs> it was a Chappelle show reference. He was like, Stabman's fucking up or some shit like that. Yeah. I was gonna try to reference that. Didn't remember what it was. Too tired to get it. God of War. The last of, of war. The last of war. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of complaints that people have had with God of War have been associated with Kratos and kind of being a one-sided character. and Calliope. Dude. Being very mad. Um, sure, but like... I think we're getting something a little bit What do you want from him? A little bit more depth. Dude, okay, listen. What'd you like about 300? Like, there was like this epic retelling, and it was just I, awesome shit happening. That's the same way that... Uh, I think... If you want if you want Telltale to do a Greek mythology game with... But they're... The God of War games stuff, are great. Sure. They're great games. <clears throat> but they could be like... They could, <clears throat> they could make enough small changes to make them like exceptionally great. Like, these are games that are float around the 9 range. They could be in the 9 to 5 to, like, 10, like, masterpiece. I'm not going to disagree with you. You kind of disagree with me? No, I'm not going to. Okay. I just, what would you do, like, make Kratos a more relatable character? I mean, that, I think that's a start, but I think that him having a, uh, a more investment and more um, interesting dialogue, and I think that that's exactly what I we're doing. I can see maybe this. more interesting dialogue, but, like, what I did, what I, kind of what I liked about it was... <clears throat> There's nothing better than a good old fashioned fucking revenge plot movie. Right? Yeah, that's fair. And that's basically what every single fucking one of these games is yep. with a with a ruthless character who's Super brutal, brutal as fuck. Yeah. And uh, you know, if there's ever been uh, people thought that shit was Mortal Kombat, and like that's the sort of thing that makes people wish fulfillment of violence. No, it's God of War. <laughs> You're rubbing your fucking swollen helmet, being like, "Oh my god, I couldn't be any more of a badass. I don't even need to talk." And that's, I don't yeah. know if that's what they're going for, but that's kind of what I got with him. Yeah. Minus the masturbatory part. I mean, based on the trailer that we got of him, like, having a son, and like, trying to I'm talking about old kid. ones. Yeah, Now, I know. this, I'm very much like old man Logan, is yeah. switching gears entirely to, he's fucking old, now we're Teaching gonna give him kid how to hunt. Like, oh, that yeah. scene where they murder that deer is just so fucking brutal. Shouldn't credit to 50 he probably does, by the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, also, the fact that it's Norse mythology. Sorry. Yeah, that's fucking pretty bonkers to me that they can just switch god sets like that, if, if yeah. you will. Can't wait till the fight's Jesus. Dude, could you imagine? We already... Yeah, closest we ever got to that was Dante's Inferno. Yeah. But just on the opposite end. We were going down rather than up. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know why I'm gestating with this painting thing like I'm fucking Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, God, Tommy, you all right? Well, anything else you want to say about God of War before we get to to the to the end of the finale excited. here? Yeah, same. We need. To, I want. I want to know. Excited about it. He's very. He's very excited about it. And uh, yeah, that's all we got. All right. And all right. Hold on. Hold on. Before we do move on, uh, Adafi says, "All right, get this. My feeling is this: it's a prequel before they kill this family." Nope. I don't think so. I, I think you're way off base on this one. Yeah, I think this is. Um, after he's done that, and he kind of. You know, does the incredible There's no Hulk more gods the left for him show to, kind to of be like... betrayed by and killed. Yeah. So he's got to move on to a new set. Well, I think that... I Plus, you think, had he killed all the, the Norse gods, that have brought that shit up at some point in the games. Right. Right? I've done this before. Yeah, oh, hey, you know, I kind of... Do, do, do. Plus, yeah, no. This I, is I, I, I've, too. I don't, I don't think at all. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Plus that beard. Yeah, there's the old like, beard. Yeah. There's the, 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 the gruff, you know, the I'm trying to sound older voice. Yep. Boy. Boy. So, yeah. Hope this game does good. I'm excited for it. And, oh my God. I got, I got something a little special. Why don't you tell so, yeah, uh, 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 just, the coincidence? Sorry, just today. real quick, just to close that out. Yeah. Uh, that covers the games of 2017. Ones that we know of, ones that we think are coming, and ones that we aren't so sure, but could possibly make it into 2017. Mm -hmm. Highly doubt those last year are going to make it, but we'll see. Right. Um, uh, we're going to move on to something, just kind of a surprise real quick. Uh, good call on that. Uh, do you want to tell the story on this? Well, I want to tell... I want you to tell the coincidence. Okay. Some shit you sent out today at work. 
so, um, you know, just to kind of, uh, get my team at work, I guess, kind of engaged or into the idea of like what we are here to do. Like I work customer service for electronic arts. And one of the things that we're, that's super important is, is Christmas is important for everyone, but especially for kids. And I can think back to like very seminal moments in my childhood. And a lot of them are attached to gifts that I received for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I sent out an email to my team about like the day that I got a Nintendo 64 for Christmas, what that day meant to me, like what I did with those Nintendo, like the feeling of like taking the game out of the plastic and all of that, seeing the box for the first time, (laughs) super important moments. Uh, so I sent out an email to my team talking about like, Hey guys, you know, kids are going to be opening their Christmas presents. They're probably going to get some EA games in there. So, um, I got six copies of Madden. Yeah. 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 There's just a couple of reminders about what we're here to do and like the impact that we can create for people. Yeah. That, uh, there's nothing more frustrating than opening a game on Christmas day and something not working right. There's going to be about a million 12 year olds. Yeah. Who wake up with Battlefield One? Yeah, we're about to fucking lose them. Right and they and they want to connect yeah. online, or they want to make sure that they put their code on the right account, or whatever the <clears> different <throat> types of things that we can assist with on the customer service side. So it's like, hey guys, keep this stuff in mind, and uh, you know, like, if there's ever a time to like bring it when you come to work, to try try to be as uh, empathetic as possible. To, yeah, you know. this is it's it's hard yeah. to take going from one phone call to the next to the next to the next to the next and keeping the same level of energy and passion and enthusiasm and empathy that you need to to be good at a job like that um but if there's ever a day where you really need to kill it it's christmas day so I sent that email out today and i was talking no i came home or i came over here afterwards and you were talking about how you're working on this video uh for well, your mom well Aiken had all these uh vhs tapes that she wanted like encoded and kind of re re um Put chronologically, yeah. And there's I probably had, I probably sifted through. Like I said, I've been up since yesterday because I had this is another, I, I've had these for two years. Yeah, and I've been meaning to get get it to it for Christmas two years in a row. So this year I'm making sure it happens. Um, so we're leaving to go out of town tomorrow. There will be no stream tomorrow, by the way. I think I said that earlier. Uh, because we'll be out of town for Christmas. But uh, had to do it. So I've been up all night sifting through fucking footage, trying to place where it happened, when it happened, yeah. uh, so I could, you know, reburn it, whatever. And uh, I stumbled across my Christmas morning when I got my Nintendo 64. <clears throat> and I saw it, and I was like, I gotta save that for Tommy. Yeah. There's that fucking kid, Nintendo 64! I was like, you know, not a lot of people have that footage of getting their Nintendo 64. Yeah. So when you came in, I was like, hey, I got this shit. And coincidentally, you told your story today. Yeah. Fortunately, you don't have a video of yours. Fortunately, nope, I do. do. And, uh, well, let's fucking take a look. There was something magical about the N64. So just, if you guys didn't get the context, that right there, that's little DKP yep. running in Christmas morning to my, get his presents. My brother and sister and uh, some dogs are babysitting. And you're the baby of the group. You're yeah, the little yeah. one. Nine They're years all... younger than, yeah. than my brother and sister. Yep. Oops. Yep. Not going that Fuck way. Fuck my ass. You really screwed that up, didn't you? I tried as hard as I could. <laughs> so, yeah. So, here we are. Merry Christmas there's your uh, sister, right? You. Yeah. And there's yeah. your older brother. And your older brother, he's been four. on stream before. Yeah. It's only about 45 seconds. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't noticed it quite yet. Good. No, you have Here it comes. What? What is it? Wish I was boxers. The way Kenan was talking. Right. No! Nintendo 64? No! Woo! Oh, wow. See, I didn't freak out like the other kid, but... No, you were excited. You were clearly oh, Just excited. wait. There's one part I almost think, like, crying. No, dude, I almost cried watching it. What's that? Because you know the fun that's going to happen. Watch out, dogs. Dogs get in the way. You said Nintendo 64, Justin. Oh, Brings a tear to your eye. No, oh. Read comments. We will. I can't stream on the road, sorry. I got, dude, our, our weekend is packed. Uh, with uh, three families to ping pong between for three days. Yep. So, but uh, yeah, man. That was a good memory. First time I ever fucking got my mitts on a 64. And I still have that fucking bitch, too. Yep. God damn, that was good. So much Castlevania 64 played on it. 
Uh, I did have that actually, yeah, Good. and uh, I hated it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I thought that that would just be kind of neat. No, it's sweet, man. You you walk up to Nintendo sixty four, Justin. And, oh, I can't believe this. <clears throat> well, I I think I was talking to him because it's like we did this. Yeah, like we're both gonna play it. It's ah, yeah. you know the brotherly bond we're gonna share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bonkers. Like uh, I forgot all this shit. These are memories that are hey, isn't that cool? Yeah, you know uh, you never think like going through home movies would be worth a fuck, but as you get I, older, man, I've had a pisser, man. You know? Yeah, but yeah. So uh, that's all. That's all I think we have for tonight. Yep, that's it. So if you guys have any questions, I'll read some of these comments so Idify doesn't cry himself to sleep tonight. Uh, Megan goes <laughs> missing the sequel. Oh, I know all your found footage horse shit you guys are doing. Uh, they were like, that's you definitely did the Lord's work, Yep. Good looking out, baby. Boo, stream on the road. Play Slug Bug with CC. Do you guys usually play the Slug Bug? Uh, we do. Okay. Then he says, <clears> uh, read comments. I take it easy. I don't know. Haha, I remember those days. It was a good day, He says, no, good memories. You better believe it. Adifi says, I used to get super excited when I could get a console for Christmas. Right? <clears throat> yeah. You kind of you kind of disconnect. Deal. You disconnect from that when you get to the point to where you're making your own money and you're buying your own toys. Yeah, you the, like, the, disconnect the, from the, the idea excitement of, like, of it doesn't hit at all. It's like, I don't think I'm going to buy a PS4. I get you're, excited, but it's a completely different type of excited. It's not the... It's nowhere you don't, near. Yeah, you don't have the value of, like, of not having to pay for it and getting... Yeah. That's... Whew, that's sweet butter, baby. We've seen DKP without tattoos. Yeah, tell me about it, man. Right? Uh, Pepper says, awesome blast from the past. Yeah, I thought so, too. Jonathan says, Gauntlet Legends smash the good old days. Just a good old boy. <laughs> that chainsaw shirt. Sure. <laughs> hey, you know, I, know I, I only have, like, two of these. But it's wore the jacket all the time. Yeah. That's why it looks like I'm always wearing the... Oh, I wish we had, like... I wish I had a full wardrobe of these uh, chainsaw polos. But, uh... You, you open your day. closet and it looks like... Fucking uh, American Psycho, where he's just got like all those suits. It's kind of my stuff. plan, yeah. just to have, have a you know, simple uniform and you know, to fuck around with it. But Peb, yeah, Pepsi says straight up Mario sixty four. Oh, better believe uh, it. Paint says now when I get a console, I have extreme extreme anxiety about spending so much money, get sweaty, and almost passed out. Just fucking do it. Not Cross me. that bridge when you get there. Ooh. When it comes to paying bills, looks you like got Nina this, Black. fam. Yeah. <laughs> so we got uh, old Lay here, old Leahy here, wishing us a most humble and smug Christmas. Yeah. With a with a little drinky poo, ran. A little drinky poo. If you guys a don't watch Trailer poo. Park Boys, you definitely should. Yes, you, you definitely should. You might not enjoy it at first, but give it some time. Once the characters <clears> start <throat> becoming endearing, you know all their little inside jokes and gags. It's really good. Agreed. I'd find this next year is going to kill me. Yes, it is. Yeah, oh, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and uh, get them out there now. Uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll stay live for about two more minutes. We'll take off. Sounds good to me. And I can actually like quit stepping off sc uh, stream. Really sorry about the stepping off stream and constantly blowing my nose. Really sorry about that. Hey, man. You got what you got to do. I like to try to be a little bit more professional. You trying to... 52 status. I have... Trying to uh, throw back my way? Three. Nope. Three games. <laughs> three games left. Uh, and I am making an, an immense amount of progress on those three games. I'm playing all three of them at the same time. One of them is Batman A Telltale <clears throat> Series. I just played through episode four on Tuesday night. Um, so if you want to watch that in the archive. Uh, I had a special guest, Jay Dig Dog. She was there to enjoy it with me. I'll be yep. playing uh, episode five on Christmas night. At 9 p.m. Christmas night. No shit. Yep, be I'll, there. I'll see if I can tune in from home then. Cool. Uh, it's I say home. Right? It's still like back at my mom's house down yeah. out of town. Your mom's <laughs> place will always be home for all of us. I, I reference where I grew up as home too. Yeah. Um, I am about halfway through on Call of Duty and I'm on chapter 10 of 16 of uh, The Last Guardian. And boy, oh boy, is that game a fucking treat. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys. Um, go on. I'm I mean, fucking with it. It's just, it's, it's <clears throat> absolutely you, you, incredible. You, uh, you had a little bit more to say about it earlier. Uh, yeah, I mean, the a couple of things, like... Because look at this. Dude, we're, we're ending in good time. Yeah, time is so great if, here. If I'm you wanna, super happy with if you, that. If you want to go I mean, for it, man. Trust me, I don't want to go for much longer, but uh, yeah. I'm really, really enjoying The Last Card. I know there's a lot of different technical issues, and a lot <clears> of people are uh, 
you know, have a lot of problems with it and stuff. And I've ran into some of those frustrating moments, but those frustrating moments don't happen frequently enough to affect the experience for me. And the moments that I am enjoying, I'm enjoying a lot. The, uh, sorry, excuse me. The relationship. Officially not anymore. What? Pebba Vass of Last Guardian was a cuphead. I said, officially not anymore. It's out now. It was, though. It definitely was. Uh, just watch the episode four prep eight. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. These are the, uh, oh, Batman, not prep eight. Yeah. 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 I thought he went all the way back and watched the DuckTales video from prep eight number four, <laughs> which you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Like, it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> um, your relationship with Trico, you were, you were Yeah. Saying. Incredible. <clears throat> like, something that I'm noticing when I'm playing this game is that I am talking to Trico out loud while I'm playing the game. So, uh, Trico will, like, you can't fight in the game. You just have to run away. But Trico will go in and fight for you. If he sees enemies, he'll go in and like fuck him up, claw him and stuff like a cat would. Like, right. Uh, but he gets fucked up. He gets some spears in him and he'll be bleeding all over the place. So you have to pull the spears out. And every time I pull the spears out, there's a pet button. So I'll just like walk up and I'll start petting him for a few minutes. And I'll be like, it's okay. I'm saying this out loud. It's okay, buddy. You're okay. Thank you so much for help. Thank you for your help. And uh, like there'll be times where I, you like have to split up from Trico. Or you have to go through something really small that he can't fit through. And I'll be like, it's all right, buddy. I'll be back. I'm like saying these things out loud. Mm. I like have such a connection with this like bird dog cat thing in this video game that I'm like talking to it. And I, I've i never had that type of feeling or relationship about an artificial intelligence character every time developed you leave. In, oh, okay. in a game. In a game before. I've right. never had a connection with something like that in a game before. And that uh, <clears throat> that cannot go understated how incredible that feeling is. I guess that's the reason why like, I don't like Last Guardian, even though I'm not going to play it. Same thing with uh, Shadow of the Colossus, which is like, okay, uh, one great core design concept that's executed very well amongst everything else that doesn't work as well. Yeah. And, it's, and, and, and for me, at least, with uh, Shadow of the Colossus... Uh, love, love the idea of just it. Basically, the game's a boss rush, right? There's no foes in between. You go yeah. to each colossus, you figure out how to kill them, and you do. Um, in in it's the movement and everything else that everything else is well designed. Concepts awesome. It's effective, very much like Trico as the as the animal is. Yeah, everything else just feels like shit. And I know that this game like. The, the problems you don't have, yeah. I fucking know. No, I you're would. not. You're not going to be able to get past. I know I would, and I don't mean that against you. I just know. No, no. I, so I just so know I'm people not like. Yeah, like there are times where the frame rate clearly goes below like ten frames a second, and I, like I mean, it's only happened to the point where I'm like, ooh, like three times so far. And but like does the game look good enough to so warrant that? I mean, I think so. Like where it's like, wow, I could see this making it bug all the way down to four frames a second. Like I have to, fucking to me, all the weird. issues. To me, all the issues are like not inexcusable. To me, all the issues make sense. I like I can be an apologist for a lot of the issues that happen, based well, on. Let's well, not. There's no apologizing here. Remember. I know. I'm just saying. I could. I can <laughs> be an apologist for it, based on a lot of the different. Um, I don't know. Just kind of the way well, the game you, works, and the way that Trico's AI works. If you like it, you like, like it. Yeah. The way that he interacts, the way that he does things, like it makes sense to me why this game took fucking ten years to come out. Because I can't imagine how hard it is to make that character unique and do its own thing while at the same time listening to your commands. Mm. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, <clears throat> absolutely incredible game. Yeah. Very happy I played it. Can't wait to finish it. Let's Because I hear the end is incredibly epic. <clears throat> we'll see. I've been waiting to address this comment till, uh, till near the end. We'll hit the rest of them. Uh, Adafar says, you be good apes. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Steve. Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, Merry Christmas to all you guys. If you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, fuck you, celebrate Christmas. Because Hold on, listen. I'm not even religious. It's just a fun thing to do. Yeah, Christmas is dope. Just do it anyways. You don't gotta... Just just do it anyways. It's great. Yeah. So there you go. And have a, have a fun one. Uh, let's see. We'll get the rest of these and we'll, then we'll, 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 we'll bounce. Uh, you know, the, the differences of Texas and California are there. It's the little things. I'm not trying to quote Pulp Fiction, uh, late Big Mac. But uh, I don't know if I was like, I'm gonna jam. And I was like, you know what? Leave. I was like, oh, we say jet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a jet. Little things like that, right? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. When we leave, it's like a plane. When he leaves, it's like peanut <laughs> butter and jam. 
He, he walks the dinosaur out the house. I'm gonna watch an episode of Prep Ape later. Tons of shit to do tonight. I just wanna cry and play something. Well, hey, uh, if you have any sort of a uh, way to access Steam, do what I can do. I can give you a gift to Stardew Valley. And if you want something that's uh, not system intensive, that is fucking relaxing and a pisser, add me on Steam. Uh, you know how to get old of me. I'll do, I'm, I'll do that for you. Just play through the opening cutscene of uh, Last of Us. That'll make you cry. So good. Oh. Yeah, so good. Uh, I'm seriously bummed because I haven't been able to play something at Link for a while. Well, <clears throat> Sword of Valley will help that as well if you can. Okay. Uh, if it were CSA, so I probably wouldn't bitch as much. Maybe. Hey. Well, hey, no apologizing. Yep. On either side. And uh, Merry Christmas to all you guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'll be back Sunday night. There's a possibility I'll stream tomorrow, but I don't want to. I, I don't want to set any expectations. I will see you guys on Monday. Uh, hopefully Monday. I'm not sure if I might be leaving Monday. We're right at two hours, so so let's cut this motherfucker. Perfect, man. Uh, well, paints. Uh, you know how to find me, baby. Yeah. Let me know. Let me, hit, hit, hit me up for STEM ID. Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm Major Tom. Love you guys. We'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas. You gonna tell him you love him too? Oh, I love you too. Yeah. It's a little bit of like Christmas ribs. ribs. You know what I'm saying, baby? <coughs> Maybe I don't want them. Fuck. Oh man, a fucking wow. We we were we were nipping this whole time. We were nipping what? Oh. Wall. Oof. <laughs> Later, fellas. Bye bye. You guys have, uh, have, have, uh, be safe out there. See ya. Bye bye. I'm DKP. Major Tom. We out. And we're out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nah, I'm just fucking uh, here's I Big Tyrone, baby. Thinking. You're thinking, wow. Nah, I'm just fucking with you for real. Bye-bye.